Alright guys, I'm back. Reset my router. I think we're uh I think we're good now. So and I'm kinda surprised how kinda like it still looks kinda bright. Uh where I'm streaming this game. But it's been like like cloudy and rainy like all fucking day here. Which sucks because uh, you know, I, I normally have to go on a bike ride, but can't when it's all wet and shit. Oh well. Got my volume was on my on my phone. But yeah, let's uh, let's just go ahead and hit the end. You want to get some rest, repeat? <laughs> Your friends are already resting. Yeah, I don't know what the point of me um. You know, refusing to go to rest with my pals was was all about. I thought maybe like there's additional, like cutscene or something, but. Yuri, please wake up, Yuri. Uh huh. Oh, I was really zonked out, huh? Good morning, sleepyhead. So it's more good afternoon now, ain't it? Oh, hey, old man, you're back. What about Carol? I haven't seen him since I left the union. I reckon he's still there. I hope he's okay. Well, since the old man's back, does that mean everything's settled with the Union? Did you see the Don? Well, about that. As soon as the Don heard what happened with Harry and Nordopolica, he left the Union. By himself? That's not like him. Where did he go? Well, and this is just my intuition, mind you. I think he's headed for Leviathan's Claws compound, the Manor of the Wicked. What? But Jaeger is the head of Leviathan's Claw. That's so dangerous. Well, I don't think Jaeger'd try anything against the Don. If they went up against the Union, they could lose all of their business, for one. So why did the Don go out there? Because he's pissed. Mm. So, anyway, I'm sorry, but the Don's left the city. Well then, should we go to Leviathan's Claws compound? You believe the old man's intuition? If the Don's going up against Leviathan's Claw, we can't very well sit around and twiddle our thumbs. There's no guarantee the scum won't try to attack him. Well, all right then. I'm not really one for waiting anyway. Patty still isn't back, huh? Then I guess we have no choice. We'll have to oh, spoilers. Behind. Like, we haven't done that before. Still, will you wait here? I... I'm going with you. Estelle, don't overdo it. Are you sure you're up to this? Yes. I'm absolutely fine. Still. So, you all know where the Manor of the Wicked is? I figured you knew, old man. Aren't you coming with us? Well, yeah. I guess I am. Well then, it's decided. We'll just go pick up Carol and... What the... It sounded from the direction of the bridge. Uh -oh. That can't be good. Let's go and see. Well, now that I have my uh, party with me, for the most part, might as well save again. I'm such a saveaholic. What's with all these people here? Carol's over there. The Dawn protected this city from the Empire. He protected our honor. Even if we're the only ones helping, we owe it to the Dawn to protect the city. Hold your horses. Settle down, all of you. What's all this commotion? We've heard that a group from Polistrale has been spotted near Heliord. Their leader got killed thanks to a mistake of one of our own. It's only natural they'd want to talk yeah. about the incident. Once they learn the Dawn's left town, things could get ugly. We must defend the city from them until Dawn returns. You fools. If y'all weren't so eager to fight, the Don wouldn't have had to leave in the first place. Soon as they learn there's fighting between guilds, don't you think the knights are bound to stick their noses in our business again? Don Rest is independent from the Empire. I mean, you say that, but... The Imperial Knights are in no place to tell us what to do. The friendship treaty still ain't finalized yet, you know. Yuri! Everyone! What do we do? This is going to become a war between guilds if we don't do something. <coughs> if the Dawn were here. They say that the Dawn may have gone to the Leviathan's Claw Compound, the Manor of the Wicked. What? Really? Well, probably so. We were about to see if we could go there. 
Want to come with us? But there's a chance that the Don's not there, right? Yeah, it was just the old man's intuition after all. If he's not there, war could break out while we're out looking for him. Yuri, what should we do? What would be best? Well, we should be able to handle the manner of the wicked ourselves. You go ahead and do what you think you should do. Yeah. Then I'm gonna go and but good luck with that, kid. Do you think this is the right choice? We don't have much choice. We can't follow the Dawn and guard the city at the same time. I hope that we find the Dawn at the Manor of the Wicked. We're his backup. If Jaeger's the one Dawn's up against, he'll need all the help he can get. Hey! Do you even know where you're going? It's straight to the west of here. Hey! Wait for, wait for me! me! If the Dawn really did go meet with Jaeger, what could the reason have been? And why would he go alone? It's not to deepen the ties of their friendship, that's for sure. It was probably because he didn't want his subordinates to get wrapped up in the mess. Well, that's just one more example of how much the guilds love doing things the hard way. Upholding every rule, settling every score. Is it all really that important? Hey, if we're going after the Don, now's the time. We can have special sharing time later. Okay. So we are... Okay, we are without Carol. Interesting. Well, um... I was about to say, I know I, I know I got you a new bow, sir. Just, just because it's, uh... Just because it's much better. And apparently it ups your HP. I don't know why it does that. Oh, the two vitality, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll give you that bow. Whatever, dude. I should probably get a... I should probably give him another arm or two, to be honest, but... I tell you what, you look like you want to carry some dice on y'all. I'll give you the dice. Whatever. But I definitely want to make sure you guys have Saphiras on you, right? Rita, I love you, but you're going to have to wear that... What? Oh, it's still on? Okay, that's fucking dumb. So apparently the Saphira, when you when you place it on somebody, it... Uh, and they like leave your party, you don't get it back in your inventory to equip to another person. That's stupid. Whatever, okay, fine. Keep a strange mark on you. At least I have at least I have uh one and a half times more experience now. Or two and a half times more uh gold. Whatever. So, uh, where exactly is the, uh, the House of the Wicked or whatever it's called? Where, where is that located? Is it down the path here where that giant-ass door is by chance, or? Something's giving you a very bad feeling. Okay. Maybe, maybe you have good intuition. I don't know. Uh, what's... Oh, that's right. Yeah, we went to prison, didn't we? Well, technically, Yuri's gone to prison, like, fucking three times now. I ain't going any further? Who says? You can't control me, bitch. It's locked and we'll probably stay that way. We don't know that. We don't know that. But yeah, uh, just for grants, I, I was thinking like, uh, hey, maybe there's like a, uh, I thought maybe there'd be like a, like a PlayStation skin or whatever, or a, a theme for Vesperia. So I tried to look one up, There, there's not one, so. Kind of feels like a, kind of a shame. Okay, there's nothing. <laughs> okay, yeah, there, there's, there's nothing here. Never mind. Let's let's go back. I, I guess we're just supposed to leave town then. Like I, I don't know where the fuck uh, this uh, this thing is supposed to be. Leviathan's claw.
I don't really need to get anything from the uh, shop, so I'm just going to leave town. Or try to leave town. Of course, Patty's like, ah! I'm here! Destination is Leviathan's Claw Hideout. Huh? You really don't get how things turned out that way. That's exactly my kind of place. Then follow me. Hey, hold on. What is it, old man? You do realize what going to the enemy's compound means, right? What it means? We're gonna be on their turf, playing by their rules. If we get there and we're not ready to roll, they could give us a mighty beatdown and it'd be lights out for us. So, you're asking if we're totally prepared to go? We're ready to roll, old man. You sure? You're wearing more than usual. We're ready. Yeah? Well then, let's go. Oh fuck, maybe I will go back to that shop just to get Patty a better knife. I mean, she doesn't even have a lot of knives anyway. I still haven't, I still haven't made that uh, sub-weapon for her. She has like a different pirate's gun. He's an old man that's just larger than life. In that case, I'm sure meeting him will provide a clue to the riddle of I think. Mm, Don, Don Whitehorse. Huh? Hmm? Did you say his last name was Whitehorse? Oh, uh, well, well, you just said it yourself, right? Okay. The plot thickens. Maybe remember he's starting to come back a little bit. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get this. Um... I think I could have just bought a knife for her, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, let's buy this Ares for her. Let's do that at least. And then uh, with a little bit of money I have, maybe I can synthesize something for her. Okay, so Uricano. Apparently I have I have two Lipsias. Okay, that's interesting. Huh. What is BA force? Oh, burst arts attack. Eh. Uh, I'd rather give her, like, just a strong, strong thing, like, strength 2, magic 2, defend 2, resist 2. Eh, screw it, give the, uh, give her the Ur Uricano, uh, plus 1 alpha, screw it. That should be enough for now. Oh, if she needs to, I'll make this for her, too, because I know the Vesse, she's done, um, with and uh yeah this lips yeah one alpha okay yeah that's good enough she's definitely got a lot of shit to learn now don't she uh let's give her the weakest one then which should be the lipsia okay and I can't really think of anything I need to buy, you know, like, item-wise. Uh, then again, maybe shit's kind of tough with this Leviathan's Claw. Maybe get some more lemon and melon gels. Screw it. Get some poison bottles, because you never know, I guess. Um... I think we're fine now. We're probably fine. Still sucks we don't have Carol, but, you know. And also, we're kind of broke again. And I don't know why, but my nose is acting up quite a lot right now. Being fucking goofy.
Go to save. Well, hey, on the plus side, uh, we have access back to this area now. Haven't been able to do that for a while, so maybe we'll get some death sickles and shit, you know? But yeah, I'm not even sure where Le I'm not even sure where Leviathan's claws uh, base even is, but I'm still okay with this amount of gal though. Fifteen hundred or so. Get some devil sickles, which I know we need. Okay, you learned burst guard. You learned a bunch of shit. Good, good, good. Okay, so since Yuri's done with that, you go ahead and slap on the um, purple sword. Stell, put on the Sinclair blade. Yep, or Sinclair saber rather. Okay, you learned all the shield things. That's good. Okay. Hey, what the hell is that uh, giant thing in the middle of the woods? Is that where I'm supposed to go to, maybe? If so, that's a pretty short distance. Didn't really need to go far. Shit. Ooh, I learned a uh, shredding palm. Okay, I'm fine with that. Man, that looks awesome. Oh, this is the Forest of Cave Mock. I was like, what? That That's that's not where I'm supposed to go. Are these new enemies? Have I killed this thing before? Prepare to meet your doom. Oh, okay. I have killed them. Huh. So where is okay? Is it past this bridge? I, I guess. Okay, I see the I see the mansion. I see it. Yeah, I think uh, I need to go. Yeah, I need to like fucking weave around these woods here. All right. I'm just making sure I have all these things identified here. Man, totally fucked up those guys. And yeah, I'm gonna make some more uh, fucking pudding so I so uh, Yuri can learn cake. That's, that's kind of my goal here. Might as well kill these guys too. I, I mean, there's gonna be plenty of guys to kill, I'm sure, at this place. So. That's for fucking sure, yeah. Huh. Grown immensely stronger. Also, uh, notice how it's fucking nighttime in the game. Oh, we got those fucking, um, those one dudes. I forget what you call them. The assassins or whatever. Got bronze and zinc. Well, hell, I mean, if we're, if these guys are always around here, I guess I found out a way to, to uh, grind then. And since I got repeat on me, I can't have them steal things. Like, uh, yeah, bronze and zinc. I'm gonna look them up in a sec. Uh, let's see. Monster book. Are they considered humans then, or...? They are. Okay. So, bronze... 
We can steal Mystic Cloth from them. Okay. We can get Red Lance, Mystic Cloth, Steel Arrowhead. Oh, these are these are level twenty enemies. Interesting. I definitely thought they'd be ranked higher because I've never gone to this fucking mansion before. Yeah, there's just the basic bitch, basic basic bitch assassin guys. Okay. It'd be pretty fucking easy to kill these then. We have certainly grown stronger. Alright, Rita learned the mental up. Nice, nice. No reason not to kill a couple more. Get a couple things out of them. One more, and then we'll go in the mansion. I'm gonna have to blow up my nose. I'm trying to drink water, too. Thought that would help. I'm gonna make a save here. Not for any particular reason, just, just cause. Creepy. The manner of the wicked, huh? Oh, it's those fucking assassin chick girls. Those are there. Cool, cool. I'm guessing this is the manner of the wicked. It's so heavily guarded. We should wait and see what the situation is like first. Can't get too comfortable though. Shh, they're arguing about something. What part of let us in are you having trouble with? Like I said, your timing just seems a little too perfect. Don't you have anything to prove who you say you are? You know what? Actually, we don't. Let us through. The dawn is here. We don't have time to sit and chat. <laughs> so, the old man did come here. Bingo! <coughs> this is our chance to listen in. Didn't you go looking for proof that the hunting blades were after that dragon rider? I told you, we received word that the dawn was headed here before we could arrive at Mount Temza. We couldn't very well ignore news like that, could we? The hunting blades are out to get Judy? What are you waiting for? You won't be any use to Jaeger if we have to give you a beating. Hmm. We'll let you through, but not without an escort. You don't mind, I hope. Whatever, just let us in. What luck! Now there's less guards to worry about. Guess we better strike while the iron's hot. Who the hell are you? Uh-oh. Hey. Nice repeat. I think these might be new variations. Cuz I don't remember seeing these yellow jackets. Okay, these things are called plums. Fucking goofy ass name. Let's identify them. Okay, level 37. Uh, I guarantee they drop a decent amount of gold then. So, and apparently they do cartwheels and shit, and they can poison me. So that's lame. They think I got some poison bottles, I guess. Alright, let's kick his ass. Make some more pudding. Hopefully I'll learn how to make cake soon. But yeah, I am curious about... Uh... I think we're still in the clear. So let's make what they're getting inside. Why do you think the hunting blades would be after Judith? If they're looking for Epithea, maybe they want the... Man, dude. Hold on, guys.
Okay, that's just gonna fucking annoy me for the rest of the stream now. My nose acting up for no reason. If he's an Antelikea, he might become an Apatheia like Bellius. I mean, when he dies. Which means Harry's request wasn't the only reason they wanted to take Bellius down. They want those Apatheas. So yeah, they do. Bad. Judy. Judy might be in trouble, but we should help the Dawn out first, especially with those two charming young ladies. Yeah. Hi. Let's be quick and clean this place up. Sure. You know, it's good to know. Uh, I remember from the anime cutscene. It showed uh, those two girls like fighting in front of this mansion. I was like, "Where the fuck's that in the game?" Looks like we're finally at that point. So you'll be going to Mount Timza? But the dawn. We're practicing deciding for ourselves. Remember? Let's move. <coughs> I'm coming too. She'd be upset if I left the dawn like this to go looking for her. I can just hear her saying, "My, what did you think you were doing?" Don't worry about that, lady. She's yes. Hot. She's also hot. So. All right, let's get the old Don out of this place. Looks like we found one more thing we can't ignore. Okay. I never would have guessed we'd have to chase down the Don and then go make Judith talk. It looks like the hunting blades are on the move, too. I want to know how Leviathan's Claw managed to get that information. I'm sure there's something they're after. Judith. I know you're worried, but let's just deal with what's right in front of us for now. Right. Let's look for the dawn. Well, gee, I hope, uh, I hope the dawn doesn't get fucking killed or anything. Like, he's one of the more interesting characters, in my opinion. Oh, but yeah, let me look up the, uh, the plum things. Just, I'm, I'm just curious what they, uh, what they, uh, carry on them. Who the fuck are the... Oh, th those are the guys that were the... Yeah, the hunting blades. Like, who the fuck are those dudes? So, Plomb. Okay, so it's the same shit as the other ones, then. Redlands, Mystic Cloth. Okay, well. Guess I'll be able to farm a bunch of those now. Because they're kind of everywhere. But, I'm not opposed to it. I think they drop good gold, too. I'll have to check how much they drop. Oh, we have furs, too? Okay. Go and identify them. Nice. Apparently they're a little higher level, too. Huh. Okay. Fucking kill them all! Man, I love that ghost wolf shit. I don't know why Rapide's using so much of his TP. What's up with that? I might have to adjust his uh, skills or something. He's using a lot of TP. Yeah, fuck that guy up. Good, good. Get that fucking great, Yuri. 2,500 gal from a fight? Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Go and ki yeah, go ahead and take care of that other jackass out here. No reason not to kill everything, so. Okay, yeah. Yeah, just plums and fares out here, I guess. I wonder how many variations they're going to make of this enemy, though. Like, I'm curious about that. Yeah, let's keep cooking, too. Okay, so let's go inside. Hey, there's Dawn. White horse. That's the Dawn? Stand back. Didn't you say Leviathan's Claw would never try something like this, old man? The Don's the one that started all this. 
What? Then that means the old man's. Just what do you think you're doing here, you damn fools? Bringing young ones to a place like this? Bravo. I really should thank you for such a heart-rending performance. What the hell's he talking about? Gah, get out of the way. And that four pole blade looks fucking sick. Like I like I I just wish the snowflake was like a little bit more detailed, you know what I mean? Uh Yeah, I assume we're probably gonna face those uh, sisters in combat here soon, so Man, I love that punch punch and then the fucking Hadouken that that like shows up at the end, that's sick. Shadow Fang Punishment? Damn, bro! That's fucking sick, Repeat. Doing some badass damage, dude. Get up, bitch! I am not gonna let them kill the Dawn. Let's make some... There we go, now we got cake. I was about to say, let's make some pudding, goddammit. Now it can make some fucking cake. That's good shit. That's good shit. Yeah, that heals 30% uh, TP, so... Quite useful. I think it's uh, strawberry, eggs, and milk. I think. Yeah, let's fight those little girls now or something. Wanna go, bitches? Boy, that red-haired one has kind of a weird... Uh, kind of weird style pigtails, doesn't she? Let's go. I don't suppose there's a, uh... I mean, you bet your ass I'm gonna kill these guys. Ooh, 7,000 gald. Not bad. Yeah, there's no reason not to kill these enemies just because. Easy experience, easy gold. I mean, the, I, I need the LP too, so... But yeah, uh, just for grins, I actually looked up uh, the, the trophy to get 150 combo. You can't actually get that with Yuri. Um, and there's a couple of different ways to actually pull it off. So maybe I'll try to do that at some point. You know, seems like an easy trophy to, to pop off, so. Ah, I fucked that up. There we go. Bunch of fucking gal that time. 3155, don't mind if I do. Gets free lemon gel. Got a free gothic plate. Nice, nice. I think that's what's on a Yuri, actually, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Um. Okay, doggo, let me give you... Crimson Phoenix. Rita. I guess let me give you the Grim Cardigan. Revenge spell? No casting time if a novice spell is used while staggering. Huh. Well, that could be kind of nice, I guess. Decreases the amount of time needed to recover from a stagger hit. That would definitely be nice. Oh, and uh, you already learned your fucking skills there, Raven? Okay. I guess just keep using that bow. Patty, you're still learning XP share? Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, let me actually put on the... Um, I might as well try to set up for, for next recipe to learn. Uh, let me get the uh, wiki thing out here. Although one thing I am going to do is I'm going to put cake as a, a shortcut now. Since I don't need pudding anymore, let me put... Huh. Okay, it actually puts it actually puts stars next to the uh, next to the person's name. So what happens when you get three stars in making pudding? I'm kind of curious what happens then. But I'm going to make cake. <laughs> I'm going to make cake.
That's what I'm gonna do. Um. So yeah, cake will be that, and I'm sure there's someone who can do something. Like maybe I could get a stell to make a certain dish and get good at it. Give me a second. Okay, so uh. I can get miso soup by making minestrone soup with Estelle repeatedly, so we could try doing that. And it increases magic defense. By kind of a lot, actually. Boost magic defense by 20% and recovers 5% of max HP. That could be cool, and it just uses onions and tomatoes, okay. Interesting. Oh, and, oh, apparently so. Estelle can learn to make minestrone soup from miso soup, and she can make clam chowder from miso soup. And that act that actually gives you boosted magic defense by 60%. Jesus Christ. That's kind of ridiculous. Also, hey, Dragon, how's it going? For some reason, you are not pop popping up on my uh, phone in the chat. That's kind of weird. <coughs> okay, now it's showing up. I didn't even know there was a guy down the hall. Now I know. Now I'm gonna kill him. Fuck him up! I'm the combo master, bitches! I mean, there probably is a good technique to get, like, you know, really good combos in this game, but I don't give a fuck, dude. I mean, I probably should, like, play different characters other than Yuri, but... Rita's boring. Repeat? Eh, Repeat's okay. I have fun playing as Carol and Judy, though. Those, those two characters are fun. Oh, I forgot to cook. There we go. That's what Cake does, bitches. That's what Cake does. Stores a lot of fucking TP. And yeah, I might as well uh, go through these doors and shit. I assume where we have to go is upstairs. But what I want to do is, um, you know, get everything else in this house and then go up. Also, I hope that skit's still there when I'm uh, done with the battle here. Fuck you, bitch. Over. Cook that uh, minestrone soup then, which apparently she failed to do. I don't know how many of those. I don't know how many of those ingredients we have, but I wonder what they were thinking, building a big manor out in the middle of nowhere like this. Isn't it obvious? Crooked plots and intrigue. We should hurry and finish what we need to do before we get caught up in anything. That's not so bad here, Estelle. Why not take our time and get the full tour? Are you thinking of exposing some crooked plots and intrigue while we're here? Nah, I wasn't thinking about any of that. Being in someone's home is just so relaxing is all. I can't <laughs> believe you. We don't have time for this. We're going on ahead, old man. Uh, no, no, wait for me! Yeah. But yeah, I just... <laughs> I just think it's hilarious. Like, I finally figured out, like, how old Raven is. I had to look it up. He's 35, but they still do this old man fucking trope to him. It's like, he's not even that old. He's, like, he's barely middle-aged. That's that's basically what it is. But, you know, whatever game. Oh, these guys respawn just from me going in a room? Well, well, whatever. Like, I want to get all the loot here. Also, that's a lot of guys to kill. Holy shit. 
Whatever. Thank God I know how to make cake for the TP restoring. So. And I got plenty of gels, so. These guys aren't that tough anyway. And it seems like just 20 or so hours ago, I wasn't really doing much. Now I'm constantly hitting like 500, 600s. You know, it's fucking nuts. And apparently I still learned uh, to do the waltz, so that's cool, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, keep cooking that cake. We need it. Shit ton of gout we're getting now. I appreciate that, though. Well, let's see. Uh, three doors, it looks like. And one at the end. I'll do my best. Oh. Huh. So, uh... My, uh, my mom has actually had this, uh... Uh, morning dove. Like, make a nest in one of her, uh... Like, planters in her front yard. Apparently, I just got a text that uh, the mama has decided to move with her eggs somewhere. So, kind of don't blame her, considering uh, she was in front of everyone's business. So, but yeah. We're done. It was only a matter of time. Um. Now we gotta see which door goes to what. Panacea bottle, eh. That's not that big a deal. I hope there's a better item here. Yeah, I think there's nothing but plums and fears in this whole mansion, so I'm not gonna bother examining them anymore. It's so awesome when I hit more than one enemy with that fucking um, exploding fist at the end. It's so fucking sick. <laughs> Make some more of that cake. Alright, first level 40 character. Very good, very good. So what what else we got here, item wise? Holy bottle, really? Like we already got a shit ton of them. I, I never used them. I never fucking use them. Well, that was a wasted room then. Damn. All right, let's see what the other three are. What we got? Shark's tail? That's <laughs> that's a cool, that's a cute looking knife. Cute looking knife. Let's go ahead and get that on a... Uh... Okay, no, Patty's still learning the XP share thing, isn't she? And then again, do I really care? I'd rather her learn... Brainiac combo magic too? Sure. And Lucky Soul? Sure. Let's just give her that. Fuck it. But yeah, that knife looks adorable. Alright, let's check out uh, door number uh, three then. Oh, hey, buddy. I can't wait till that uh, Coliseum is open up again. Like, that'll be sick when I go back to there. And I, and I still have to figure out what the what the town is that lets me, like, gamble and shit. Like, I need to see what that's all about. I'm very curious about that minigame. I'm also curious about how much grade I have in the game, too. It's 
probably at least a thousand or so. That's over. Finish that one. Okay, we're gonna learn combat force. Was that a part of her weapon or? No, okay, that was her book. Okay, never mind. I'm not using a lot of these apple gels. I might as well throw one or two. All right, let's see. I got a chest. What do we got? <laughs> An apple gel like the one I just used? Okay. Cool. And that's it for this room, really? Well, that was a tease. Okay. Let's... Let's check the last door and then go back down to the hall and go up the stairs, then. And an orange gel. <laughs> okay. So only one of those rooms was even really worth a damn. That's great. It is what it is, I suppose. Yeah, let's go ahead and stun this guy and kill him. I'll take him out! Maybe I should get rid of that severing fang. It doesn't seem like it's usable, uh, as useful as all my other skills now. I don't know. That's over. All right, level up. I got life up. Nice. Okay, so you're done with the Vorpal Blade. Good, good, Yuri. And I was about to say, I could have sworn there was something else to learn. Yep, we got the Rune Blade now. Alright. An ancient sword forged from a special soil that cannot be reproduced with current technology. Sure looks fucking cool, though, doesn't it? So we got Spirits 2, Magic 2, and Resist 2. Okay. That's cool. Uh... Oh shit, that actually reminds me. I need to put back that, um skill on for uh for doing better with swords okay no i i always have swords up and axes up okay i wasn't sure so and uh oh look we have five sp let's put it oh shit when did i get strength three i mean fuck put it in that dude physical attack up by 15 percent hell yeah dude and uh, if I just get rid of one, I can put in strength, so I'll have 20% more attack. I'm sure I could get I'm sure I could get rid of one SP here somewhere. Somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Man, there's so many fucking skills on this thing now, dude. Really? Not one is... Not one is just one SP? Hmm. Well, since I'm using a sword, let's get rid of axes. Yeah. And then put on... Or no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Strength 2, strength 3. That'd be 25% more attack. That is fucking awesome. Yeah, let's do that. And then when I switch back to an axe, I can just put axes up. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't I don't keep an eye on this uh, SP stuff too often. Because it seems like you just barely get enough whenever you level, so... Um, okay, Stell has five. Um... Well, I could put in resist, too. Increases magic defense. Yeah, that's probably worth having. Yeah, put that on there.
Oh, I actually no, screw it. I'm gonna try Lovely Dog. All status, all status increases with repeat and the active party. Let's let's try that out. Cause like, it, is is that just with Estelle, or is that the whole party gets like an increase? So let's turn that thing off and put in the the doggo thing. Okay. And repeat. Increases spell attack by 10%. I might put that on him. Um, guard Reflect would be nice. Oh, I definitely need to have more of this. Actually, in fact... Encounter bonus. Encounter an enemy symbol from the rear to occasionally re recover the entire party's TP on punt. I mean, that sounds so damn good. I would actually be willing to get rid of a couple other things, like... Get rid of recover. And then get rid of evade. Like, that encounter bonus just sounds so damn good. Because getting a complete TB restock on your party would be so damn good. So I'll just put that on. And I only have one SP. I don't think I can put that in anything, so... Screw that. Okay, Rita's fine on her SP. So are you, Patty... Put on, uh, yeah, put on item pro, I guess. Okay, now we're good. Okay, so that, by, by that logic, if I, oh, well, I fucked that up, didn't I? I was trying to, appear, I was trying to get there from the, from the rear, you know, but whatever, dude. It is what it is. Yeah, I can already tell uh, Yuri's doing much door, much more damage, and that guy's fucking dead. Just like dancing, yeah. Yeah, Patty's super fucking gimmicky, goddamn. Where do you learn to endure? Cool, cool. Alright, let's actually go up the stairs here then. Probably probably about to do a boss fight. Okay, they actually do have a uh, have a save point. I'm glad that they do. That's convenient. Man, my fucking nose, dude. So stupid. Stop shooting arrows, you fuck. Dude, stop. Okay, now you're just pissing me off, you range bitch. Also, I forgot to keep uh, making cake for my party, too. Oops. Okay, let's go. Yeah, keep making that cake, sir. Alright, learn combo plus. Nice, nice. Gothic guard, okay. Uh, actually, I think I can give that to Raven. Yep. Okay. Now, you know what, Raven? I haven't used it in combat in a while. L let's switch you out with Rita. Fuck it. Yeah, and he has the dice. So I'll get a little bit more grade, too. So. 
piss on it. Go ahead and save that. Probably have like <laughs> Wow, over sixty five thousand gal. I'm pretty I'm pretty cool with that. Get that TP restore, please. I'd appreciate it. No? Well, whatever. It is what it is. Okay. Raven learned something else there called falling. Okay. Interesting. I just don't want to still to learn um the uh the better soup, so got a ruby wand, okay. One with a shining shining red gem attached, holding this one will inspire the owner. Okay. Been a while since she's had a fucking uh since she's had a uh wand. So that gives Crucible and Ethanor. Okay, they both change in art. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I'll still give her the Sinclair Saber to use for now, though. Um, yeah, let's keep... Let's keep going down the hallway. Or is this... Oh, okay. So it's just a repeat of what's on the bottom. Okay, let's go through the doors like we were doing. <laughs> I like how the bastard came right towards me, but I still fucking, like, stunned him. These guys are gonna get wrecked now. Yeah, go ahead and use an orange gel repeat. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna make so much fucking money from this boss fight up ahead. Holy shit. His boss fights tend to drop a decent amount of uh, gal, so the one up ahead is going to be so good. Great, I mean the grade should be higher too, because let's see, uh, killing a boss you get 10 grade, so with the dice it'll be 11 grade then, in theory. Okay, apparently I can't use that door, whatever. Okay, so that place was kind of worthless. Great. Let's uh, continue down the hallway. Man, you know what? I, I don't really use these over limits that often, so... It's just like, screw it. I, I might as well do it now. Like, it's so easy for it to get to level 3 anyway, you know what I mean? It's like, who gives a shit? Uh, go, yeah, make that soup again. Give you that poison bottle. I see that crossbowman at the end of the hall there. Approach from the rear. I do kind of wonder what the actual percentage is for that uh for that TP heal actually. I'm not wasting my pineapple gel. Fuck that. 
I'll use it. I'll, I'll use it during the boss. Definitely not gonna get great. I'm taking too long to kill these guys. Yeah, still can't just go all out, you dummy. I don't know how I still got grade there, but hey, I'll take a game. Shit. Yeah, let there be cake. Learn burst guard, okay. Stupid nose. Uh, nothing. Oh, a Crimson Axe, okay. That looks pretty cool. Too bad Carol's not with us, but I'll definitely uh, give it to him when I see him. Yeah, I wonder how long it'll be before we get uh, Judith back in our in our uh, posse. Hey, kitty. Hey, baby. Kitty came to say. Kitty say. Kitty came to say hi, guys. She's such a good girl. You gonna lay? You wanna lay right here? Huh? I got your blanket right here for your baby. Yeah. Such a good girl. <laughs> yeah, you've been enjoying the rain all day, baby? Huh? <laughs> is there not... I was about to say, is there not an item in here? A limit bottle? Eh, that's decent, I guess. I, I still haven't used those, but... Like, that just seems like something you use for, like, a super boss, you know what I mean? Or the final boss of the game. Let's check out door number three. If I can get in it without being, uh, triggered in a, an encounter. We do battle with all our might. Okay, that fur looks kind of weird for some reason. I don't know why. Do, do the crossbowmen always have their, uh... Do the crossbowmen always have their hood up like that, or did I just now notice? Apparently Raven learned how to slash and burn there, so that's cool. Fuck you and your arrows. Hey, come on. Yay! All right. How about a hug? <laughs> well, that's a new one. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Yeah, Estelle's not having that shit, dude. She's gonna cook some soup for you, though. You like you like soup, Raven? <laughs> How about a hug? I don't think so. That's kind of creepy. Especially considering, um, oh, that's a cool, that's a cool thing I just got for a repeat. Yeah, especially considering, um, <laughs> let's see, Estelle is, uh, Estelle is 18 and Raven's, uh, 20, uh, 35, so, could be considered a little bit creepy. I mean, I think it's creepy anyway, to be honest. They could, you know, they could be the same age. Just hugging complete stranger. From a guy you know is kind of like a womanizer, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I actually had a, uh... I was actually kind of a fatty last night. After I ate dinner, I actually made some chocolate chip cookies. Uh, just for curiosity's sake. Like, I've had it for like a week or two. I, I got it from my mom. I was like, eh, I'll probably bake them like when I'm in it. When my nephew come, come visits again. Which I'm sure will probably visit me sometime in uh sometime in May. Like like maybe a week of my birthday, I don't know. We'll see. I'm just getting started. 
Let's go ahead and make cake here. In plenty of those uh, red lenses and arrows and all that shit, so that's good. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get to this last room where maybe we'll face a boss. Or two. I never dreamed you'd try anything this risky. I finally made up my mind that this mud ball would be a much prettier place without you mm. on it. The other Master Guilds surely won't like you ignoring the Union's laws for your personal vendetta. And I'll face the consequences. But it's daybreak now. Looks like I've underestimated your touch. I'm out of time. If I don't get myself back to Dongrest, those fools gonna start a war. I mean, they already... <laughs> they already kinda have. Like, it's a good thing Carol, you know, stayed behind. Oh, I think it's a bit late to prevent that little accident from happening. A couple of eggs might have to be broken, but I'm prepared to pay a price. A price? You still got us to deal with, Jaeger. Well, it looks like the tide's taken a turn. Yeah, indeed. Bye-bye. Hey, wait! Damn, that guy's a regular vanishing act. Now what's with all of you? Just how you figure coming down here be the smart. I mean, you came down here too, and that wasn't smart either. Hmm. Who's that little kid? I ain't no little kid. I'm Patty. I'm sorry about that. Patty, huh? Why don't you come over here and show me your face? Now this is a surprise. Huh? You're a dead ringer for Ifrid. The very spitting image. Huh? Then it really is true that Patty is Ifrid's granddaughter? Granddaughter? You're his... <laughs> I never heard nothing about that scoundrel having a granddaughter. Huh. So Patty's guess was right on the mark. As his relative, I bet you must have suffered quite a bit over Ifrid's infamous incident. I've got my own reasons for following Ifrid's trail. <laughs> Thought that since you were his friend, Don, you might know something. <laughs> It'd be an exaggeration to say that we were ever friends. He just did whatever he wanted to do. I never knew where he was or what he was doing. And I ain't got a clue about that now, either. I see. Haven't you met him somewhere recently? Hmm. Have I? Can't rightly say. This is a keepsake left by an ally of yours. We were asked to bring it to you. <sighs> Looks like I caused you all some trouble. Of all the... Why'd she have to wind up like this? Just what is an apatheia, anyway? Well, you see... Afraid I don't have time to explain it now. That doesn't sound good. Nah, I hate to cut and run, but I'll leave the rest of these guys to you. Are we actually Wait. fighting a boss, at least? Because, like, I wanted to fight those, those twin assassin girls. It's just these too. fucking losers again, man. Hey, let me try and buy the old man some time. Raven? Come on, guess we better. Oh well. Oh, it's just four of these guys. Oh, I'm so fucking intimidated. Eat a dick, dude. Like, like at least give me like a fucking lieutenant equivalent of these guys. You know what I mean? As a boss, you know. Fucking lame. I'm tired of this I'm tired of this cat and mouse game with this fucking with this fucking guild too. Because we've already had to deal with uh Jaeger shit before. Back in uh Heliord, I think it was called. I mean the Dawn is a little crazy, to be fair, but we're kinda crazy too, so it works out. I just for grids, I'm going to make soup. I don't need to, but I I wanted to. Got to get that cooking level up. I think it's about time. I agree. Now we're all going to eat ourselves from the window? <laughs> from up here? Ah! Nice, Yuri. Very nice. She definitely got excited over that. I 
got a bad feeling about this. We should get back to Dongress. Indeed. And the spinning image of Ivory. Not the picture I had in my head. Indeed. I thought he'd be what a is it, baby? Like Don. Well, you don't want me to play my game? Huh? I know, Grants, I might actually be, uh... So I, I actually spent, like, you know, 40 minutes or so just kind of waiting around for uh, my PS5 to download the uh, Arkham Asylum, like, remaster. Because I bought a bundle, so it's three separate games, right? And I was like, well, I might as well get them on my PS5, because I don't have fucking 98 gigs available on my PS4. I mean, I could make room, but... I'd rather just put it on my PS5, because I don't have a lot of games on that platform anyway. There you go. I was about to say, smack him the ba smack him the fucking face, bro. There we go. Now we got him. Goodness gracious. Sucks my grade went down a bit, but whatever. Uh, you know what? Screw using a, uh... Yeah, screw using a, uh, potion. Or, uh, whatever you call it. Uh... Screw using a uh, poison bottle. She's just, just gonna do it the other way. Also, and I have a decent amount of money again, so that's good. Ninety thousand. I'm pretty okay with that. Actually, since we're outside, let's go ahead and use one of those uh, mats or whatever. Get a bit of TP back. Uh, yeah, just a mat. Just a mat's fine. Okay. And yeah, just just gotta walk back to uh, Don Grass, so it should be pretty easy. But yeah, I was waiting probably like 40 or so minutes for that thing to get done, so uh, I, I might be actually uh, playing some fucking Arkham City on my own time. Maybe. I mean, I still. Uh, well, maybe not. Like, I'll at least stall it on my PS5, but. But yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to playing Arkham City Remastered uh, with a better controller. Because I remember uh, streaming that. Uh, I remember streaming that game on the Wii U, and I did not care for that gamepad shit. Did not care for it. And I don't think I really did anything past the uh, main story. But like this version is essentially better, you know, and it has and it has all the DLC stuff too, so it's it's basically a better game, just a different controller, which that probably makes it a better game. Hold still. I'll make this quick. But yeah, I'm mostly looking forward to streaming a uh, Arkham Asylum for you guys, because uh, that was. I, I definitely like Asylum more than City because it's it's more confined like it makes more sense why it would be you know certain size and it's much easier to plat that game I actually have plat Arkham Asylum so back on the PS3 I think that was one of my first PS3 games I played if I remember right Alright, learn magic, resist, spirits too. You learn super chain, cool, cool. Um, okay, you're already done with the rune blade, huh? Okay, I guess just stick with that on, Yuri. Okay, Estelle, you're done with the singular saber, good, good. 
So, go ahead and put the ruby wand on. Okay, all you guys are learning shit. Okay. <coughs> yeah, we're almost back to Dawngrest, so... <coughs> Yeah, as for uh, as for playing Arkham Knight, I guess I'll play it on. I guess I'll play it for for the stream. I think that might actually be my least favorite out of the Arkham games. Like the Batmobile levels are like you know cool and all, but like the, it it didn't really sell me on the game when I first played it. And hell, I remember I I remember a friend of mine. He he quite liked Batman. It's like his favorite superhero, and he, even he didn't get through the entirety of of Arkham Knight, so... Like, it's still a good game, though, don't get me wrong. Man, my favorite's, uh... My favorite's Arkham, uh, Arkham Asylum, though. Fury, it's Yay, Carol. it's Carol! The Union and Polistrali are squaring off against each other with all bone Ooh. Blastia. The dawn is back, but something's not right! So, you made it back in time. Looks like my hunch was right, though. What do you mean, your hunch? He's been planning for this to end in his death all along. Really? What? Why would he want to do something like that? Well, I mean, he is an old fart. And, uh... You know, maybe he wants to cause some sort of revolution. I don't know. To set things right? Bellius died because of Harry's rash behavior. She's the Duce of Nordopolitan. You can't just say, sorry, I got some bad information. Which means there's gotta be compensation to make up for losing Bellius. So the price Don mentioned back at the Manor of the Wicked was... His own life. Once he made up his mind to sacrifice himself, taking down Jaeger wasn't a problem. Even if it meant going against the law. Oh, so, so basically it's like, yeah, I'm pretty much fucked anyway, so I might as well get rid of this other evil. I don't know, it sounds pretty badass to me, Carol. Like I actually got some respect for him. There has to be some other way. Both sides are at the breaking point, though. This thing could go off at the drop of a hat, and if it starts, it'll mean all-out war between the Union and Polestar. Yeah, we definitely don't want that. Not sure we have the time to find some other way. <sighs> I'm going with Carol. Okay, so uh, first and foremost, we do have. We don't have Carol back? Fuck. At least everyone's level 40 now. Well, except for Patty. She's pretty close, though. Like, 5,000 off. Um. I mean, I did get more shit. Maybe I can synthesize a couple of things. I don't know. Might as well, uh. Might as well see. I don't suppose we can get any more... Okay, yeah. So, we, there, there is more stuff to make. Minotauros, Avenger Scroll. Okay. Uh, actually, I think some of these are the same. Yeah, some of these are the same. Yeah, that Minotauros plus one is definitely new, though. Okay. Um, let's get the gels we need real quick. Melange and lemon. Let's make sure I get those gels too. Um, um uh, I could probably make a better bow for Raven. Could at least do that. See what do we got here? Strike horn bow. I need a spike spike bow for that. I'll look into that later. Um, rapid shot. No, 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 no. Okay, I I can't do anything bow wise for you. All right. Um. Well, I can make another glowing ribbon and then turn it into a. Uh, Plus one alpha, so she can get the chain and elemental. Yeah, let's do that. 
Let's uh, let's let's do that. Cause that, that she can learn altered arts from that. So. Um. What about sashes. Okay, Avenger Scroll plus two. Uh, okay, yeah, she's learned Avenger Scroll plus one. Yeah, let's go ahead and make that then. Do that. Let's see, that's fine. That's for Judy. That's all the stuff for uh, Carol. All the stuff for Judy again. Most of this stuff is for Carol. Or Yuri. Yeah, I think that's... I know Patty has a lot of these things to learn, skill-wise, so I don't think I'm gonna even... I don't think I'm gonna touch that. Shields we can make that are Oh, I was about to say, yeah, those sandals are for Judy, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, I need Desier Iron Sand to make this pirate's gun. I I'll have to look into that off stream. Because I know uh, there's a couple places we can get that iron sand. Like, I'm pretty sure those uh, wolves drop it in uh, outside of Nordopolica. But yeah, I think that's probably it for now. Hit the end real quick. Then I'll save, and then we'll we'll see what else we're, we're going to do here that's fucking nuts and shit. I just hope there's a boss fight. Like, give me a good boss fight. Like, it'd be cool if we could fight, uh, Don Whitehorse again. Oh, he... Oh, apparently I'm not allowed to use the end. That kind of blows. Oh, well. Can still save at least, so... Oh, I didn't bother to buy more ingredients, did I, for cooking? I, I might as well go do that. Let's go do that real quick. Could you staring out the window? Yeah, just buy. Okay, we buy the onions and the tomatoes, the strawberries, and the eggs and milks. There we go. Easy. Looks like, uh, looks like we got some, uh, division amongst the populace here. Hang in there, kid. You're a boss now. Hell yeah, he is. But it's like there's nothing I can do on my own. So then ask for help. That's what friends are for, right? Don! Take good care of them, and they'll be there whenever you need them. <sighs> I'm coming with you. <laughs> yeah, you punk ass bitch. Well, old man, it's been fun. Raven, you better nail Jaeger for me. <laughs> That's a heavy load for somebody like me. <laughs> You're the only one I can ask. White horse. Little lady, try going underground to the storeroom in the city's tavern. Oh, he's talking to Patty. I was like, who the fuck are you calling the little lady? <laughs> With Eifried's name. If you're his granddaughter, it ain't a bad idea to take a glimpse at the kind of things he did and how he lived. <sighs> We're so grateful for everything your darling grandson's done to us. Really. The boy has made a mess of things. He may be my idiot grandson, 
but he's also a full member of the union. And it falls upon any leader to take responsibility for the mistakes of their people. So say the laws. Take me, then. Let my head atone for Bellius. Don. Idiot. These guilds. They're all filled with nutcases. So, who's gonna be my second? It would be my honor. Huh. Guess you're stuck doing a job nobody much wants. You too. <laughs> no kidding. Yuri, I was looking forward to watching you go places. <laughs> I'll make sure to save you a spot in hell. I don't think they led me into the hell you're going to. <laughs> I won't forget that attitude, boy. And I won't forget your resolve, Don Whitehorse. Don! Listen up. You all gotta stand on your own two feet from here on. There's a new age coming. So get out there and make it for yourselves. Shit, dude. Everyone here seems to have calmed down. Feels more like they're expecting the end of the world. Carol's been... Taking the Dawn's passing pretty hard, too. And it looks like things are keeping the old man busy. I guess it comes with being a member of Altosk. Huh. I haven't seen Patty for a while now. She might be in the sewer tunnels. Oh, right. That's what the Dawn was talking about. What are you doing, Kitty? What are you doing down there? He gave up his own life to make amends for what happened. The guilds take their laws pretty seriously. The pride of living by the laws of the guild, taking responsibility, accepting the choices he'd made. The Don practiced what he preached. And he was willing to stake his life on those beliefs. Responsibility, choices. I've got to get these things figured out myself. Best to start with our guild, with Brave Vesperia. Yuri? Where are you? Just going for a walk. He probably went looking for Carol. Carol. Mm. Now my hands have killed someone I yep. never wanted to kill. Don, that feeling still hasn't left my hands. You really were a piece of work, old man. Yeah. Man, it sucks, bro. We basically had to kill our fucking senpai, pretty much. That blows. Never thought about what might happen if the Dawn died. I mean, to be fair, he was probably getting up there in age anyway, so... Like, he had to be at least in his 50s. <laughs> is kind of insane you know that he could still fight that well in his age huh <sighs> damn wonder where the hell Carol is in town is he at the uh or ah uh, well maybe we're supposed to look for Patty she's like underneath a tavern or something like that uh I think there's actually two taverns, isn't there? <laughs> Careful not to drown your cares in too much drink, you'll just make yourself sick, yeah. The dawn was the dawn right to the end. Damn straight, bruh. Where's this go? Uh, 
Uh... Oh, these are the sewers. I was like, what? What does this go to? Yeah, I I, f I forgot about this location. Or was that? Or maybe this is where I'm supposed to go. Hold hold on a sec. We'll go ahead and save real quick. I know Yuri's by himself, but. Okay, yeah. I, I remember now. Yeah, these were these sewers at, like, uh, kind of a while ago. Well, luckily, they, uh, they hit so shitty, uh, they're not really gonna do much damage against me. It's great if, uh, if I need to get bat wings, though. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. There's a name on this, uh, Sakuraba. I know I've examined that thing before. It's locked up tight. There's no way of getting in. Okay. Fucking nose. Yeah, I'm probably not going to go for, uh, a shit ton longer. You know, I do want to have dinner here at some point. Is there a, uh... Okay. Like, it looked like there was, like, a stair that, that ran to somewhere over there. I don't know. Yeah, where the fuck is Carol, though? Oh, there he is. There he is. Like, I just assumed he was moping around, you know, you know, here in the streets. I... There wasn't anything nope. I could do. The dawn, and all the rest of you, you'd all made up your minds and did what you could. Nobody in this town's gonna listen to anything I've got to say, so I was thinking I should try talking with Paula Strale instead. But they might be done talking, and just attack anyway. When I thought that, I, I was too scared to go alone. So I ended up not going at all. I'm not good for anything. And what about Judy? Weren't you gonna look for her? I can't. I can't go with you anymore, Yuri. I'm just not cut out to be the boss of a guild. Is that it, then? Is that all guilds and brave Vesperia mean to you? Just walking away from the dream like that? But I wanted to be the best guild! To be useful to the Dawn! For him to notice me! Uh, I don't know, I think he kind of did notice you. He's been a role model for me, and now he's not a so you're just gonna pack it up and quit? Just what was it that Dawn died for? You of all people should know the answer to that. You can always do everything you want, Yuri. You never understand how I feel. I'm not tough like uh, you. <laughs> Carol, you, you gotta understand, like, he was a kid at one point, too. There's no way I can be like you in the Dawn. It's over. Our guild is... Carol, don't you remember all the Dawn told you? Did you forget his resolve? <laughs> As a member of our guild, I'm going to Mount Timza to find Judy. Huh? Brave Vesperia will go on. Even if you don't, this guild is more than just you now. <laughs> and now he's crying like a bitch. I don't want to run away. I don't want to, but... Uh, what's going on, dragon? You're saying, uh, ugh. Are you dealing with dumbasses at work or something? <laughs> Carol earned the troubled one title. Jeez. So you went and killed a termite, and that was fine? Okay. So getting the tier 3 axe will be easy-ish? I'm surprised you went there without having, um, uh, what you call it, the, uh, antlion armor? 
Because didn't you say they're tough bastards? Did we not talk to Carol again then, or...? Yeah, I, I guess we're going to Mount uh, Temza. I don't even know where the fuck that is, but I guess we're going to go after our bay. Which... You know, I'm never opposed to. Uh, I think we have to talk to our other members first, though. You try to take on the Black Ox Beetle? And that will be an event? That sounds fucking badass as hell, by the way. Black Ox Beetle. It full one shot you in ladybug armor? Yeah. Sounds like a sounds like a tough son of a bitch. But yeah, dude, they have some badass critters in that game. Like the <laughs> Like like that character's backyard has quite a diverse um quite a diverse ecosystem, that's for fucking sure. Like I <laughs> Like, what part of the country that you that you could live in do you could even have, like, antlions and shit? Like, aren't antlions, like, known for being in the desert? <laughs> and, you know, like, wolf spiders. I mean, I mean, ants make sense, bees make sense, sure. Uh, mites are everywhere in this fucking country, so that makes sense, too. Where the fuck are my party members? They they better be at the fucking end. Like, I thought they'd be back at the uh, guild union's H HQ, but... Best to try to check the end, I guess. No? Okay, where the f- are they at? Maybe they're just on the edge of town. Can I not use the inn yet? Okay, I can use it. Here he doesn't really need to, though. Uh... Need that to get the T3 hammer? Oh. Well, fuck. Yeah, they, they definitely put fucking content in that fucking, uh, in that grounded game, so. Carol, do you think he'll be alright? He'll be fine. What? I was actually, I was actually mentioning that grounded game to, uh, to my, uh, to some of my clan mates last night. And one of them was just like, yeah, I get kind of old of those of those, like, you know, survival crafting games, and he mentioned how much time he wasted playing fucking Ark. And I was just like, eh, yeah, I, I'm sure Ark's a decent game or whatever, and he's just like, eh, it's just, it just consumes your entire life, dude. Like, like he told me it took him, like, six hours to try to get some kind of high-tier dinosaur in Ark, and I was just like, six actual hours? <laughs> Fuck that. Jaeger. You've got some nerve showing your face after planting the seeds of war. Seeds of war? I'm quite sure I don't know what you're talking about. Attacking Palestrale is a matter for the Union to decide. <coughs> yep, that's right. We just helped inform their decision. Uh-huh. Exactly. Understand, my Can't wait to kill friends? this fucker. I'll give you something to smile about. That's enough for today, I think. <coughs> it is the day of the dawn's passing, after all. We're still in mourning, you'll see. The world lost a great man today. It most certainly did. What is it you guys are after? Get the dawn out of the way to take control of the Union? Oh, no, 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 no. Our little business will most surely be easier without the poor dawn around, but... Ah, uh, let's not go there. I've come today for my own personal reasons. I don't want to disgrace the Dawn by doing something I'll regret yeah. later. You should leave before I change my <laughs> mind. It is not only you who are mourning this death, you know. Be seeing you then. 
Even Jaeger is mourning the dawn. I don't understand. Hadn't he been trying to get rid of Don Whitehorse himself? The old man was a nuisance to Leviathan's Claw, but maybe things were a little different for Jaeger on a personal level. You mean like the difference between guilds and individuals? Something like that. Yeah. To the Dawn, it was Jaeger the boss and Jaeger the person. The Dawn did break his own laws and take the fight into his own hands. Well, we should be on our way. Uh, all right. I told Rita we would be meeting her at the town exit. I also left a message at the inn for Patty. I said he'll be fine. Let's go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Carol's going to follow us because, you know. Man, they're still not in our, in our party? Okay, let's try to leave town and then hopefully we'll actually get our party members here. Yeah, we're going to a mountain. Hey, Rita. Lovely Rita needs a man. Where are Carol and Patty? Yeah, for all you old people out there, there's actually a Beatles song called, uh, Lovely Rita. What are both of your plans after this? I'm going with you, of course. Like I said, I've decided to stick with you guys while I research the air credit. Hey, Dragon, just, uh, just for shits and giggles, uh, who, who would you, who's the girl you're most, like, into in this game? Probably the one with the tiniest breasts, I would assume, which is probably Rita. Probably. Right, right. I want to go with you as well, Yuri. Now like her actual appearance is is, is kind of cute. I just I, I'm not a big fan of her personality. She's like way too. She's like way too back talky. To do anything for like she, she, she's the character. Much like Mogilu and Berseria, she's a character that is probably better off with a ball gag in her mouth. Judith shared in our travels. She's one of us. She also destroyed the Ceres Blastia on the ship. But... So once we have the hatchet, we'll unlock like 12 different resources if we can find them. So I think getting that early on next stream would be a good idea. Alright. We'll be around this weekend. My trip propo Your trip is postponed for two weeks. <coughs> huh. You know, I was actually planning on, um... I mean, I could just do it, you know, like a random day sometime next week. Or hell, I could do it... Hell, I could do it Friday morning if I really wanted to. Uh, I thought about just, uh, setting up my thing to play Super Mario Bros. 2. You know, something different. Mix it up a little. I'm not going out on any mercy mission. I told you I need to set things straight, right? Yuri. What does Judy know? What doesn't she know? I'm gonna see that she comes clean about all of it. I have to. To find out where this guild stands. Well, we might just end up saving her along the way. You two are worried about her. Of course I'm they not. are. What are you talking about? We might as all Yeah, like, it, like this... This fucking stuck-up bitchy attitude. It's like, come on, Rita. Like, Jesus Christ. Anyway, with all this talk about setting the guild straight, is the fearless leader himself gonna come? It'll take more than this to keep him down. He'll come. Oh, that's so. here. Did you have a look at what your grandpa left behind? I, I engraved it all firmly in my memory. So did it help you remember anything? Hmm. It doesn't look like things are going to go quite so well, but I can't let myself get discouraged by something like that. Yeah, that's right. Is it okay for me to be with you guys a little longer? I don't mind. Okay, let's go. What should we do about Raven? He couldn't come now. He can't turn his back on this town. They lost the dawn. You're probably right. The old man has his own agenda to take care of. I'm going to miss him. Eh, think who you're talking about. That guy might just pop up when you leave. Oh, I'm sure he will. <laughs> so where is this Mount Temza? That's an excellent question. My guess is that it's somewhere north of the sands of Kogor. She mentioned something about living with Baul on a mountain to the north. Ah, uh, yeah, she did mention that, didn't she? There certainly are plenty of mountains in the northern regions of Desier. Well, let's start there and see where it takes us. We'll be going to Desert by ship. Looks like that's where I come in. 
All right, let's head to the ship. Okay, okay. So we're going back to the Desier continent now. Okay. That's fine. I'm on a boat, bitch. Or no. I'm on a boat, motherfucker. Wait! Of course, Carol is going to catch up at the last possible moment. For this game, your 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 favorite is Judith? Why? She has like the biggest fucking honkers in the whole game. I might not fully understand so I, I don't know why you would choose her. I would choose her. Funky would choose her. Probably most of the males uh, that ever play this game would choose her. But Brave is my I know for sure Chase would choose her. Because he is definitely a uh, titty man. I just don't know why you would. I would think you'd be more into Rita. I couldn't come back. That's why. That's why I gotta go. But you know, whatever. Of course. You're the boss of this outfit. Oh, speaking of outfit, I actually tried to. Uh, and I I might check my my thing. Uh, there was actually a uh like a free outfit download for Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. I tried to download it before the stream. I, I don't know if it actually installed, though. But they're just alternate outfits for the main characters. And I was like, eh, it's free. You know. Kind of neat. But don't call me boss <laughs> anymore. Hmm? I, I haven't done anything to earn that title yet. Until you really think I'm a boss. Until I don't feel embarrassed when someone calls me boss. I'll just do my part as a fellow member of Brave Vesperia. Understood, Carol. Not a bad plan. You don't really care about any of the characters in this game, though. Huh. Alright! It never ends with these guilds. Bunch of hot-headed idiots. That's exactly what's so good about the guilds. Hmm, yeah. Why juvenile? And of course Raven's here. Ah! Hey, old man! <laughs> ah, how glorious is youth! What are you up to? Huh? Something wrong with my being here? Well, don't you have your hands full with the Dawn's passing and everything? You know, it all just seemed a little too bothersome, so I ducked out. But you owe a lot to the Dawn. Aren't you sad? Sad? I cried and cried till my throat was hoarse and there wasn't a tear left in me. Funny. It doesn't show on you at all. Huh. <laughs> So not even Raven the Great can bear to ignore the Don's parting words. What are you talking about? You heard me, didn't you? That burden's too heavy for this beast. Uh, I don't know if it's a graphic glitch, but look at look at Rita's like right leg. It keeps like twitching or something. Her left leg is fine. It's just her right leg is doing this fucking weird spasm. I I, I can't unsee that. I'm sure they'll be able to take care of that piece of business just fine without me. All right, we'll leave it at that. Maybe her, <laughs> maybe her right leg's asleep and she's trying to wake it up. I don't know. Oh man, these kids today, I tell you. Traveling in a group is loads of fun. It's so lively. This isn't lively. It's rowdy. Didn't You're the only one that's before? rowdy, Rita. So now we can depart for Desier, right? Huh? Why are we going back also, there? why does Patty have like a? She has like a lewd look on her face. Like, what's that about? That's a pretty good hunch you had there. Mount Thames is north of the Sands of Kagor. There's a Critian city there, if memory serves. And why would you know something like that? Well, I'm over twice your age, so of course I know twice as many things. Uh. Okay, how old is Rita? I'm actually curious about that. Well, let's see, if Raven's 35, over twice her age, maybe Rita's 17, then? That sounds right. Right. 
Because, let's see, 16 multiplied by 2, that'd be 32. Yeah, she's probably 17. Can we get to the north of Kagor by boat? Guess we'll have to see when we get there. I mean, Judith's tits are about the same size as Velvet's, so I'm not sure what you're talking about. Oh, Rita's actually 15? Wow. Huh. Yeah, like the, like the whole joke behind like, oh, Raven, old man, blah, blah, blah. Like that running gag, he's only 35. Like I thought at most he was 40. Our swords for freedom, our shield for friendship, our lives for the common good. The union oath, huh? Do you suppose Eifried lived according to those words? Or did the wind blow differently? Yeah, the, the only other character that I have like an actual attraction to is uh the leader of the uh the one guild the merchants guild kaufman she's pretty good looking like like yeah Estelle's cute but i wouldn't wife it but at least she isn't annoying i'll give her that because i've i've had uh at least one or two, uh, like, female leads in a Tails game be annoying. So. So, let's see. We basically have to go south. Okay. So, let's go south. After the skit. Why would he accept that wool? Do you think Yuri is really all right? He's not all right, but I imagine he'll be able to sort it out in his own mind. That lad's got real resolve. Resolve? Do you mean like with Lego and two more? Aye. Once he's made up his mind, taken up a task, he'll see it done no matter how heavy it is. An exhausting path, one this old man could never take. Hmm. You aren't alone in that. All folks like us can do is keep an eye on the land as he does what he needs to. Huh. Actually, it's, uh, actually kind of some interesting uh, words of wisdom from Raven there. Because, yeah, I didn't even think about it. He could have been Dawn second when he was being executed. But uh, I guess he didn't want to, uh, you know, I guess he didn't have the balls, basically. So someone's got to do it. Yeah, I doubt being an executioner is uh, all that fun, you know. <laughs> uh, supposedly, like, way back in the day, executioners, um, they, they could actually potentially receive, like, a criminal charge themselves if they, like, if they, like, botched their, uh, you know, their work. You know, like, when they're cutting the guy, he, he was, they didn't actually, like, you know, kill him. They, they could actually be, like, charged or even put to death themselves. And I was like, huh, that's kind of interesting. I mean, I would think, how hard is it to cut a guy's head off? But then again, <laughs> I've never done that, so I guess I wouldn't really know. Okay, so there's no Arpolica in the northeast. So I need to go towards the desert, which I hope there's a beach. Kind of to the south here. Hopefully. Oh, actually... I actually need to get Desi or Iron Sand. So, can I get that? Uh, is there a beach around here I can use real quick? Surely there's one. Yeah, yeah, there's a beach over there. I think. Is there not a beach? Okay, I might have to wait on that then. You made a zipline to the upper grasslands? I think I'll make one to the opposite end next, but that'll be tomorrow. Alright. Shit, there is not, uh... Okay, there's no grasslands to that. Man, 
Why can't I just have an airship yet, game? It's been 40 fucking hours. Whatever. Yeah, and I'm stuck there. I'm fucking this up. Um, I can't tell. Does this lead to a beach? Maybe? Well, this is definitely the desert, but... Okay, I, I see a shore. I see a shore. I can go there. Good, good. Um, but I don't really need to go to a town or anything right now. Well, let's just go to the damn mountains. Let's just go to the damn mountains. Like, uh, I, 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 I kind of went over here a couple streams before. There was, like, a... Uh, I think it's still there. I can't really tell. I don't remember these... Uh, I don't remember this enemy being here before. Well, let me uh, examine him. Sword beak? Okay. Let's uh, kick its ass, I guess. Oh, do I have those, uh, Sephiras? Do I have those back? Yes, Carol has that last Sephira. Good, good. Well, screw it. Let's put Carol, uh, where, uh, Rita was then. And I just want to check. Make sure everyone's learning shit. that. You're using the wand. Carol, I know you have at least, yeah, the Minotauros thing to use. Yeah. Oh, no, the Crimson Axe? Uh, yeah. Put that on, then. Chain Hellfire Spirits? Yep. Okay. I saw what looked to be like a wizard or something there. Probably another enemy I haven't scanned. Oh, that's a pretty good spell. Did like fucking 3,000 damage. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna keep making this uh, minestrone soup shit to, to try to learn the other other ones. Because that looks new to me too. It is. It's an Axigal. Kind of a weird ass name. Fucking kill them all. That's over. Okay, there's a desert iron siren. I, I guess you can learn that from, uh, or I guess you can get that from these little dinosaur-looking things. Uh, let me kill that thing that looks like a human, because you might be a new enemy. Okay, we got Sand Thieves and uh, Druids. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, fuck that Sand Thief up! Oh. And someone learned Nightingale. Cool, cool. And kill a Druid. Let's do that. Man, Carol can hit like a fucking beast, dude. Everybody, everybody, everybody be learning shit. Good, good. Okay, let's let's go towards the mountains, I guess. Uh, I don't know if it means up on that plateau or. But. These guys are pretty easy to deal with, so I'm not too worried about it. So yeah, I was actually playing um, 
So I wasn't streaming at all yesterday. I, I actually was playing some old school RuneScape. Let's go. Did more of the Hunter Guild stuff. Uh, it's it's a pretty cool uh, it's a pretty cool little thing to do. I uh, got a bunch of rumors done. I actually got up to 80 hunters. So now I'm base 80s in the in the in, on my account. So pretty fucking cool about that. Probably do some more rumors tonight. Honestly, some of them can go really really quick. I noticed. It's just the only thing that sucks is because I don't have the uh, the hunter kit yet. I have to switch out a lot of different things depending on what I'm hunting, you know. Okay, so that's what Hellfire Breath looks like for Carol. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why Repeat is not a fan of Estelle. Probably because of her weird-ass magic. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a mountain. So yeah, this is likely where our uh, where our bay is. So I hope her level is is a little bit higher. Otherwise, she's gonna be a bit behind. But you know, I can deal with it. And here we are. Welcome to Mount Temza. <laughs> Woof. These are human footprints, right? There sure are a lot of them. Could it be the hunting blades? That, or it might be the knights. But why would the knights be here? Well, Flynn was looking for Apathea too. If that's what the hunting blades are doing here, then the knights could be here for the same reason. Why is everyone scrambling to get their hands on Apathea? Probably, I don't know, it's probably ultimate power. It was so pretty, all sparkly and glittery. I'm sure it's incredibly valuable. We never had the chance to get an explanation from the Dawn. If Judy will clue us in on what she knows, things might clear up. Judy, I wonder if she'll tell us. I don't know. It's up to her whether she'll talk or not. Of course, if she decides not to. Yuri! Hey! You guys, come look at this! This is crazy! Well, we got a Critian village then? No, I don't see a village. I just see mountain. What the heck is this? Yeah. Mountain's been I'm kind of curious what happened to that. What could have happened? Is there really supposed to be a town here? Well, it was here 10 years ago. That I'm sure mm. of. But I can't vouch for what's happened since then. 10 years. That's quite a ways back. What were you doing way out here? Uh, well... Oh, that voice! Is that you, freak? Here's hoping everything's alright. Let's hurry. Ooh, a chest. Free tent. I'll definitely take that. And I guess we just follow the path down? Okay. Yeah, Judy's probably around here somewhere. Like, that sounded like, uh... That sounded like her dragon companion, Baul, so... Hey, look, more enemies! It's even worse from up close. I've never seen a hole this big before. There's no way this could have happened naturally. It looks like something mm. exploded here. It's probably Blastia. If I had to guess, that's why Judy hates him so damn much. An explosion! Are there monsters that can do something like this? They were. But those monsters were all wiped out. What do you mean, wiped out? What you see here, this was a battleground in the Great War. <laughs> what? Really? So that means humans and Entelakea fought here. The humans were victorious, but there were scarcely any survivors. The facts behind the war are shrouded in darkness. Not even the official government histories give many details about what happened. So the Entelakea did this to the mountains. Terrible power. The Great War. Ten years ago. That must have been when you were a baby, Patty. I... But this is the first time I've heard that a battle took place here. The Empire's kept a pretty tight hold on information about it. They've got a lot of secrets. Secret. You know that by now. Thought it was strange that monsters would wage war against humans, but... What they didn't want us to know was that those monsters were actually Intelikea. You sure know a lot 
about this stuff, Raven. You come across a lot if you live long enough, kitties. Okay, enough history <laughs> lessons. We came here so we could look for Judy. The monster's voice we heard just now. What if they've already got Judith cornered? Judy's really strong. There's no way she'll go down easily. Yeah, but she's not immortal. Of course not. Besides, I've got to give that dragon freak a beat down. I can't let a monster beat me to the punch. Yeah. Let's hurry. Man, the Great War. I mean, leaving a gaping hole where a mountain used to be. I still can't believe how much power the Antilochia must have had. How could the humans fight beings that powerful and not get demolished? I just don't get it. Indeed. The Great War may still hold secrets we haven't uncovered yet. And I'll bet those secrets are hidden somewhere in this mountain. Yeah, but the war's over now. It can't have anything to do with us, right? I hope so, but... Oh, we can actually walk down here? I see a chest. Growing earth? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> so heavy, it's more of a blunt object. Okay. Then don't call it a knife. Dummy. Um. Oh, we can actually go further in here? Okay. Maybe this is like the true path and that thing to the right is something else? Like, I want to get all the treasure, naturally. I just, I, I can't quite tell which way is the correct way. These are definitely, uh, different things, aren't they? Uh, got a heavy bottom, it's basically a fucking T-Rex. What level are you, bud? 35? Eh, that's not bad. We can take him. How dare you smack me, you fuck. Yeah, let's go ahead and identify that uh, other thing, the dead wreath. Which might as well be a fucking ant. It's basically a walking tree. Boy, I think this. I bet this thing's weak against fucking fire. Still getting a good amount of gold, so I'm fine with that. Apparently I just got a sacred tr sacred tree drop, that's cool. Okay, it looks like there's a lot of different kind of paths here. Oh, okay, it's kind of actually, it's kind of hard to notice what paths are here and what aren't. Well, that one's guarding the chest, so... This looks easy. Oh, I'll read your, uh... comment in a sec, dragon. Did that guy just... Did he just fucking spit out bees at me as an attack? What the fuck? Goofy-ass bitch. You just looked up the ant ship to see what recipes we get. We get a renewable wet recipe to make whetstones from larval larval jaws to upgrade gear from one to five and unlocks and unlocks six to ten. Like you said, it probably would. Yeah. Well, hey, I'm making whetstones from larval jaws—that's really fucking good. I mean, we could basically get any fucking weapon from one to five then with that. Because, uh, there's larva, um, there's a lot of larva things next to, um, the, uh, that big-ass log that we put a bunch of sap collectors on. I know there's, like, a tunnel kind of near it where there's larvas there, so. 
But yeah, that's pretty fucking good. I'm not gonna lie, Dragon. I, I kind of wish I could get on the server here and there when you're not on, but... You know, it is what it is. I, I know you keep messaging me, like, in the mornings, if it'll be on a couple hours. I'm asleep during that time, dude. So... But it is what it is. This looks easy. Really, I should be getting up earlier, though, to be honest. Like, I, w I keep waking up at, like, 10 or so, and it's really hard not to do that. Of course, my kitty feels the need to wake me up at 5 or 6 o'clock anyway. So, you know, there's that. There's a larva den that has like 20 on it. My bad, level 10 is max. Next is 6 to 7, then 8 to 10. Okay. But still, that thing about the larval jaw is pretty sweet. Okay, that guy's guarding a chest too, and I think that's the I think that's the path to the next section, so I'm going to have to backtrack to get to some something else. Is that blocking something? It looks like that rock's blocking something. Yeah. Alright, piss on it. Yeah, let me backtrack a bit. Okay, yeah, there's two chests here. And I see a chest way back in the background, too. I'll have to keep that in mind. Red Sage, Meta... Medicinal herb increases max HP by 30. I mean, whoop de doo I guess. I don't really give a fuck about those, you know, increased maximum things. I don't really care. Okay. Apparently you learned an alternate art, so that's cool, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have to look up, um, what alternate arts are actually, like, good and which aren't so good. I mean, I've definitely liked, uh, I definitely like some of them, um, Estella's learned already. Like, Healing Circle, that's a good one. There we go, she learned Miso Soup. Good, good. I was waiting for that. But yeah, she can learn, um, uh, another... She can learn another thing here. But let me have her make miso soup instead. Uh, uh, oh, oh shit, I need tofu for that. Damn. I'm not quite sure where to get tofu, so... Uh, maybe I could work on another recipe anyway. Hold on. At max, you get 65% more damage and durability. That's pretty fucking good. But let's see, let's see. Um, vegetable stir fry, acquire. Have, you have repeated make salad repeatedly, and it boosts agility by 2400 points and recovers 5% of max HP. Okay. Well, we have plenty of ingredients for salad. Screw it. Let's have... <laughs> let's have Rita make salad, I guess. Well, let's get rid of sorbet. We don't need that on there. But yeah, Rita... Make... Salad. Okay. And I have enough for at least ten... I have enough for, for at least 10 of them. Okay. Cool. I got Saffron. Increases agility by 1. Okay. Again, whoop de doo Who actually cares? Okay, you're done with that shark's tail. 
Patty, cool. Um, I guess I should. I guess I could have you get one of these shitty ones on, since you're not even participating in the fight. Yeah, get that EXP share, I, I guess. And then Rita, put on um. Yeah, put on glowing ribbon so you can learn that chain and elemental shit. Okay. Oh, so Dragon, I might be playing uh might be playing some Batman Arkham Asylum soonish. Because, uh, I saw on PSN they had the Arkham Trilogy, like, real cheap, like $6 or some nonsense like that, so I went and I bought it. And the, uh, Arkham City and Asylum, it's actually, like, the remasters for them, which I didn't even know they did remaster them, so... So just like, well, that's totally worth it, so I went and I bought it. Boy, that guy has a stupid-ass mask on. But yeah, like, I've already played Arkham City, so I'm not going to be doing that, but... I'll do Asylum in, um, in Arkham Knight at some point, I'm sure. Oh, fuck. I was about to say, I'm about to get knocked out. You guys are... You guys kind of hit hard, dude. Fuck him up. Probably should have targeted the mage first, but that's my that's my bad. I mean, hell, Arkham Asylum probably wouldn't take uh probably wouldn't take longer than like 25 hours to do everything in that game. Uh. Damn, look at that. Miso suit, magic defense, 40%. That's nuts, dude. But yeah, I only have one Tofu, so I can only do it once. That's why we're making salad instead. I just keep getting stronger. But yeah, if we're getting to the hunting blades, that means that they're definitely around here, so... Oh, maybe we'll run to uh, Carol's girlfriend or whatever. I'm trying to remember her name. Nan, I think it was. Pretty sure that's a, that's what her name was. If I had to guess, she's probably like a year or two just older than Carol is. Like she looks like she's like twelve years old to me. Oh, what the hell was that? Apparently, I learned a spell, Guy Spear. Okay, cool. Yep, keep making that salad. I'm not sure why we'd really need a lot of high agility in this game, but... I don't know, something to do. It's not like I'm doing anything else with these damn ingredients anyways. Uh... Yeah, go after the... Go after the... <laughs> magic users first, because fuck their spells, dude. Like, eat a dick. Go. Dude, so much fucking money. So much fucking money. Okay, you learned BA Force. Okay, good. You're done with the Crimson Phoenix. So. Oh, yeah. And let me give you the Stone Slasher. Quick turn, able to turn around instantly even while dashing. That's cool. And then combo force mitigates damage from basic combo attack. That sounds pretty good too. Okay. Cool.
I wish I knew how to get rid of these rocks, but, you know, sucks to be me, I guess. Damn it, you interrupted my combo, you bitch! Yeah, go ahead and use your orange gels, fuck it. Yeah, fuck that guy up! Make some more salad. Lemon gel? Not gonna say no to that. I mean, we're probably... I mean, we're probably close to where, uh... Judy is here. Cake. Don't get cocky. I was about to say, I thought I saw a, uh... Person over here. Dirty, dirty magic user. Take care of you, you fuck. Apparently, Rapide learned how to use fucking Meteor. Or Meteor Rain or something. I saw him. He was launching fucking fireballs in the air. Fucking crazy. Oh. Yuri, what's the matter? I was just thinking about what Judy said. Bowel saved me during the war. I just realized that maybe she was talking about the Great War when she said that. So maybe she fought against the Empire with that dragon freak? Uh, I mean, I don't know how old Judy is, but I would think she'd be a kid during that Great War. It'd be kind of sad if Judy was an enemy of mankind. Maybe Raven can tell us. You fought in the Great War, didn't you, old man? I mean, yeah, he probably did. He would have been only 25, so... Huh? Why? I think only someone who was on the scene would know so much about the war. Really? But there weren't supposed to be very many survivors, right? Very true. I thought I was going to die back then, too. Ah, if only I'd died then. Things would have been so much easier, too. If only you died? What a weird thing to say. So, did you ever see Judith during the war? No, not a chance. I may be a player, but ten-year-old <laughs> girls are definitely off Okay. Yeah, so Judy's 20 then, which is about what I thought. Like, she would have been a kid during that time, so... <laughs> oh, jeez. Then it sounds like Judy didn't participate in the war. Right. I mean, if it was 10 years ago, she'd be 9. That's even younger than me. Hmm. I feel like I never saw Baul either. Maybe they ran away from the battle? So it was really the Antelakea who fought in the battle? My ass, is good. So. My ass is getting sore on this futon, man. A really terrible breed of monsters. <laughs> but, wow. you were really yeah, for uh, Raven. for dinner, I actually am trying to defrost this uh, this frozen thing of uh, Italian sausage. I'm gonna be mixing that with uh, some uh, vegetables here for dinner. I was like, well, I gotta defrost that, so I put it in my fridge. So it's been sitting there the past, I don't know, five or six hours. I might as well just use the whole thing. I just hope I have enough vegetables for it. I mean, I could always... Eh. Maybe I'll go to the Dollar General, I don't know, get some more vegetables, who knows. I think I wanted to get some, uh, uh, I think I wanted to get something else too, I don't remember. I haven't been out all day anyway, so. Damn, you failed to cook a salad? You must really fucking suck at cooking then, Rita. Would you burn the salad or some shit? 
Oh, skit. The hole in this mountain is like the hole in my heart. Ah, how my chest aches. Getting all sentimental on us, old man? Nah, it's just memories of the war. I'd appreciate it if we didn't spend too much time here. Stop being such a coward. Oh, that hurts, Rita. The only way to get past a bad memory is to embrace it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Not really. I was <laughs> just generalizing. Anyway, you want to hurry, right? Yeah. Then let's go. Our little genius mage is more mature than she No, is. she's not. She's hiding. We got a head start. Right, let's fuck you these guys up. There. Yeah, probably after I um go back to that uh desert town when I rescue Judy, I'll probably be calling it for tonight, guys, so I still gotta I still gotta read my book tonight too, like Gotta remember to read, damn it. Although I think it got auto renewed anyway, I mean <laughs> not a lot of people give a fuck to read uh One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, I would I would imagine. Like I'm only reading it honestly because I wanna see how it's different from the movie. Because I really like the Jack Nicholson film. Oh wow, we actually got a plus one Crimson Phoenix? That's cool. I'm curious, what can I learn from that? FS bonus? Okay. Covers HP every time a fatal strike hits an enemy. That could be pretty sweet. That could be cool. Okay. Huh. Fuck you up. And, you know, another thing I should do is, uh... Since I've been watching, uh, Hulu on Disney+, Plus, I might as well fucking watch Bob's Burgers, you know, catch up on that. Because <laughs> I think I'm, like, a season or two behind the show now, so... Might as well watch that show. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's still good even after ten years, but Family Guy cannot fucking stand anymore and the Simpsons like um like I think I'm sick I think I'm like on season nine of the Simpsons but it's just like even that gets old to me like I've already seen like seven or eight different fucking Halloween specials like there's only so many like there's only so many times you can do that and it didn't have any impact you know but And of course, Bob's Burgers has done a lot of Halloween episodes, too, but they're usually at least okay. Oh. Wow, I got a little hidden chest there, apparently. Okay. Also, this is a, this is a bridge going to, uh, presumably a village. Former village. Okay, it looks like there's a save thing there. Some shit's gonna go down, then. This is a Christian. It was more like the remains of one. There might be some treasure around here. What do you think Judith would come here for? Suppose it wouldn't make much sense to say she was feeling homesick. The hunting blades. Hmm. Judith. Hey, girl. How's it going? You. Go inform Tyson and Nan. Hey, nobody lays a hand on one of our own. Yeah, you tell that asshole. If she's broken our laws, we'll settle this amongst ourselves. Now get out of here. We're only trying to follow a monster we're hunting. This doesn't involve you. Okay, this is getting us nowhere. Let me at him. You're right. It's just a waste of time trying to talk sense to people like this. Anyone who interrupts our conversation is going to be taking a long nap. Leave. Now. Or do you really want to do this? Very wise. Very wise. Judith, you followed me here. Yeah, we're here to settle things for the sake of the guild. Judith, tell us everything you know. 
Why you destroyed the Blastia? About the Apatheia and the Entelikea, their relationship to Pharaoh. All of it. And even though you're one of us, your answers will yeah. be your fate. Yeah! Cut that bitch down. Yuri don't give a fuck. Punish the unjust, was it? Yuri don't give a fuck. All, all those looks he got from, from his from his uh, friends or whatever. Yuri is a cold-blooded motherfucker. Honestly, I don't know if that's really a good thing or not. You've already come this far. I suppose there's no going back now. Come. I hope we get a flashback. Those are always good in RPGs. Yuri, what did you mean about Judy's fate? If there's one thing that Dawn's last moments taught me, it's that I've been too soft. If a part is infected, you cut it off before it infects the whole. Even if it's a comrade, an Antilochea, yep, or a friend. You mean even if it's Flynn or Pharaoh? Yeah, it's the path I've chosen for myself. I. The hunting blades again? We didn't just cross paths this time. We're after the same thing. We just might have to fight. If it does come to that, you guys don't have to worry about me. But we can't keep Judith waiting. Let's go! Carol. Our boys grow yep. up. Yeah. Isn't there some way we can avoid Buff getting now. the hunting blades? I hope so. <laughs> it's pretty much up to them. Yep. I mean, the way that their leader ties and activate, uh, uh, not... Uh, Clint. I think that's what the leader's name was. The way he, the way he, uh, you know, the the way he uh, demonstrates himself. I doubt there's any talking to him. The debris has all calcified to the point where it's impossible to tell what the original colors were. Ain't that a bitch? Ooh, a chest. Ooh, piece of candy. Yeah, that uh thing. I'll probably give that to Estelle here. Grand Scepter? Immunity? Reduces the chance of re receiving status effects. Fatal Exceed? Increase damage dealt by a fatal strike to enemies that do not die from it? That's pretty fucking good, too, actually. Huh. Interesting. I'm seeing if there's another chest or anything here. No? Yes? The rubble spreads as far as the eye can see. From the looks of it, this land was once adjoined all the way up to, up to all the way over there. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, enough uh, dicking around. Let's save our game and then go check out uh, what's down the path here. Probably a boss, if I had to guess. Really, more of these dickheads? I don't really feel like fighting them all, to be honest. I'll just get their treasure. I don't really need the experience. I don't really need. I don't really need the gald. Just hit you in the face there. Hit you in the face. Not too shabby, huh? Make another salad. Yummy, yummy. I heard stories of a Critian town, but I never knew where it was. Me too. Didn't expect it to be on Mount Temza. They must really value their privacy to build a whole town on a mountain. Is there something they don't like doing in front of other folk? Critians are a secretive lot, to be sure. Transform bow? Okay. Raven leads, needs to learn more shit anyway, so this helps. I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Item pro, strength two. Yep, that's a good one for him. Cool. <laughs> Got Ares? That looks pretty fucking dope. 
Um... I was about to say, yeah, this is more changes arts, isn't it? And then evade too. <laughs> Who gives a shit about that? <laughs> but yeah, I like arts changing. That's nice. But yeah, I'm gonna avoid these guys. I don't feel like fighting all of them. And we're doing pretty good on Gald anyway, so shit. And we got some regular enemies. Oh, okay, there's like another p upper path there too. I noticed that. <laughs> I couldn't think. Of, I couldn't think of a way to slip past this dude, so I was like, oh, I might as well just kill him. Fuck you, bitch. Man, we fucking destroyed them bitches. There we go. Vegetable stir fry. Very good, Rita. And, uh. Okay, so there's a vegetable stir fry. Raven needs to use that. And eventually he'll learn soup noodles. <laughs> I don't know if we have the ingredients to do that stuff, though. But Raven, vegetable stir-fry. Okay, we got, a, we got a decent amount here. <laughs> Cabbage, carrots, onions, so we can make at least ten of each. Man, we have a lot of meat, that's for damn sure. Okay. <laughs> oh, and another one we can get um, with uh, with Raven. We can get sashimi by cooking salad with Raven repeatedly. Which I would maybe rather do that, actually. It requires a bunch of different... Wow. Eh. Hold on a sec. I mean, if I have the ingredients for salad, then I might as well just make salad still. Well, I can only make two more. Damn. Uh... I can't believe how many fucking... I can't believe how many fucking uh, different cooking things are in the game, too. It's crazy. Um, apparently, like, one of the ultimate things to make in the game is called Mabo Curry. Requires rice, onions, tomatoes, potatoes, tofu. And, reco and it recovers 25% of max HP and TP and revives from knockout. That's pretty fucking crazy. Oh, this is kind of nuts, too. Udon Noodles Hot Pot? Um, it recovers half of your max HP. That's pretty fucking good, too. Damn. Hmm. Yeah, I'll probably worry about that later when I have more ingredients. I don't want to... I don't want to focus on that too much. It's just, uh, the cooking is something I don't really do in Tails games all that much. Okay, Tribal Guard. Something for Judy. Cool, cool. There's a rock there I, I still can't do anything with. Good, good. And then I see a save point. But I want to check out this path here first. So I can get that chest, I guess. Damn. <laughs> Didn't mean for that to happen, but whatever, dude. Yeah, I'll still be, uh, I'll still be making that cake with Yuri, though, for the TP boost. It really helps. Uh, 
Uh, I forgot there was a damn wizard over there. Eat a dig, chick. Combo Force, cool, cool. Okay, yeah, you're still learning that quick turn. Can't get to that chest, oh well. Oh, is this a Mimic? I was about to say, like, uh, yeah. I haven't faced one of these in a while. Okay, okay. So this is Pandora. Well, hell, um, with our uh, Gald bonus or whatever, we should be getting a lot of gold out of this dude, so... I'm fine with this, I'm fine with this. Man, that 36 hit combo, bitches! Boom, bitch! Over 10,000 gald! Right on, right on! Holy shit! Over 20,000 gald! Over 30,000 gald from that fight? Like, stop! That's enough gald, bro! That's enough gald, you can stop, counter! Jesus Christ. <laughs> he, he couldn't have had that much gold on him. What the fuck? 51,000 gald. I, I'm going to let it scroll. I, I'm, I'm amazed it got that high. 60,000 gald. Jesus Christ. You know what? That's so fucking impressive. I'm going to take a screenshot of it. Fuck it. Cause that's nuts. I'm to, I'm gonna show, <laughs> I'm gonna show that to my buddy later. That, that's fucking hilarious. I think the reason why it was so much is because of the Safira boost and the fact that I got a uh, 36 combo. I think that's what caused that. Probably. Probably. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty satisfied with that uh with that amount of money. And apparently I got a fake box fang. Whatever the fuck that is. Is there something up with this? For some reason this wall looks like it could be destroyed, but I'm going to let it go. Let's just, yeah, go back to the regular path here. But yeah, dude, we are getting fucking rich in this game. Almost 200,000 gold we have on us now. That is pretty fucking good. avoid that guy because I don't give a fuck. Got some red lavender. Yay. Go and save here. So, you are aware that this place was the ground on which the great yes. war was fought? Yeah, we heard from the old man here. The great war was sparked by a type of blastia. What? Big surprise. <laughs> this was not a blast year that had been excavated. It had been constructed in the city of Temza using a new type of technology, the Hermes Blastia. Huh. Hermes Blastia? I've never heard of it. And if you say it was newly built... I didn't think you could make a new Blastia. The Hermes models were even more effective at converting air into energy. They were intended to revolutionize the technology. Oh, so the Hermes were basically like a it was like a prototype, I guess. Yes, it did. The Blastia using these Hermes type formulas required massive quantities of air. The air crema began producing abnormal amounts of air in order to compensate. That would mean the end, not just of humanity. But all life on this planet! 
Just like we saw at Cave Mock and the Weasen of Kados. Wouldn't like to see that happen everywhere. The Intellakea realized the dangers of the Hermes Blastia before the humans, and they moved to destroy them. Which created a conflict that grew until it eventually became the Great War. So then the Intellakea fought against the humans to help the planet? But why didn't they tell the humans how dangerous those uh, the were? Because the humans don't give a fuck, Estelle. Neither side probably cared much if the other brought itself to ruin. There's never been any love lost between humans and Entelechaea. Probably didn't. And apparently much. Rita is uh, shaken. Or maybe there was another reason. But what does any of this have to do with you, Judy? Temza fell to the flames of war, and the technology of the Hermes Blastia was believed lost. Wait, you mean there are still Hermes models in operation? Yes, at Rago's mansion. Emmet Hill, Gosparost, not to mention. The Ceres Blastia on the That new Ceres Blastia must have been a Hermes Blastia. So then you've been destroying the Blastia in place of the Entelechaea. You could have mentioned that. Why didn't you say something? Were you going to save the world all on your own? Are you uh, I don't know. She just wanted to keep things to herself. Yeah, it would have made sense to tell everyone this, though. <laughs> and they all just stare at her. Yay, murder! We won't allow that. Not even from you, Nan. We were having a conversation over here, but out. We can't believe these guys. Such Time for a fucking good old fashioned beat down. I don't usually like to get my clothes dirty, but everyone. Have the hunting blades added people to their list of targets? Nobody who associates with monsters can rightly call themselves a person. Carol! Have you forgotten the credo of the hunting blades? Uh, Step I don't think... Monsters are evil, and the hunting blades pursue that evil. But the Angelicaea aren't evil. They were fighting to... I mean, here's the thing. Like, Carol's not even in the hunting blades, so you might want to shut the fuck up, Nan. Don't let them fool you with that credo nonsense. They're on a job. They're here for the Apatheia. Huh. It seems you won't listen to reason. If you have no intention of moving... You leave us no choice. All right, Judith is in the party. Oh, okay, so it wants me to put her in the party. Okay, that's cool. I mean, yeah, this is kind of her. Uh, this is kind of her shtick too. Uh, tell you what, I'll put in her. I'll put her in place of Carol. And I appreciate the fact that she's scaled up uh, her level to us because she was like 36, 37, I think, when she left. So yeah, we have all around uh, 40s with us. That's pretty dope. Um, and apparently you got a dragon tooth. Is that the best weapon you have? Other than the tribal guard. Why do I have seven of those? Okay. Interesting. But, uh, screw it. Let, let's just... <laughs> Girl, I need to get you a better pair of boots. That's what I need to do. But yeah, she's in the party. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We're going to play as her. Um, oh, I forgot about her SP thing, too. Uh, yeah, increase your strength. Uh, I don't think there's much more I can do with 3 SP, but... Increases physical defense when TP is less than 25%. Yeah, sure. Whatever. And then arts. I know she's learned a couple... Luna Rondo? Oh, I thought she learned some more. Maybe not. But yeah, screw it. We're gonna be our favorite BZ, uh... 
leading the attack. Oh, well, first, let's uh, identify these guys. So, Tyson. Yeah, you kind of have a lot of health. Apparently, I learned uh, something. Well, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't think I've ever done a Mystic R, so I'm kind of curious about that. I mean, we'll definitely get the bitch down. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I really need to learn uh, Judy's combos. Maybe I should maybe I should look up a video about what her best best thing to do are combo wise. Cuz I I like playing at her. It just I'm so used to you know, doing Yuri's moves in battle, I don't really know what to do. Man, this guy's a fast bitch, too. I noticed that, too. Get over here, you fuck. Ah, he's almost down, at least. I tend the fuck out. Now it's time for for uh, Nan. <laughs> Got that bitch. I'll fight anybody who lays a hand on my people. I will protect my world. Damn straight, bitches. Very good, very good. And I got a decent amount of gout out of it too. Yeah, Max Combo wasn't very good, but um. Hey, we technically defeated two bosses, so we got plus 20, so that's pretty sweet. But yeah, not bad, guys, not bad. I did it. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Uh. Nan, I'm sorry. Eh, she's fine. Uh, oh, okay, I was about to say. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep playing as Judy. Why not? Because I'm assuming we have to fight uh, Clint, so... At some point. That Lunar Rondo got a fucking upgrade. I like that. I like that. Rising Lunar Rondo. Very good. Alright, alright. Man, we need more cake. That's what we need. <laughs> so, uh, I don't need to... Oh, okay, so so I have to have the thing on to hmm.
I guess I have to have the skill on my character in order to use the better version of Luna Rondo. Is that how it works? So I either have to have the weapon on or I have to have the thing as equipped it. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Oh, and it even says and it even says what you need to make it the next the next one. I need dispersion skill, okay. Huh. Maybe Try shaking them hit them with a kick. Eh. Maybe he's a... Uh... Crescent Moonblade? I think she learned that. Dawn move. Moonlight Talon? Perform an uppercut slash to send an enemy in the air. Let's try that, I guess. Okay, oh, so it's, it's just an easy way to get them in the air. Okay, well, if I do that... Well, he's already dead, but... Eh. Let's go. Whatever. <laughs> Everblue? Okay. Something for Rita. And when she when she's done with that sash. Also, I just noticed, like, was, was that a tunnel to go through something, or did I have to go up here? Like, I wasn't really sure about that. Oh, the Tribal Guard. I, I guess they keep dropping that. I was wondering why I had fucking six and seven of them. Okay, yeah, that looks like the way to actually go. So up there must be to get a treasure then. Okay. Yep, I see the treasure. Damn it, my my TP's already down. Son of a bitch. Let's have some cake for everybody. Grab that for their coat. Okay. Um, I mean, might as well put that on Judith, I guess. Uh, oh, she already has one. Okay, fine. Give it to Patty. Yeah, I'm certain we're going to fight... Uh, Clint here soon, so... Actually... Maybe it'd be wise to hit that, uh... Save thing down here real quick. Yeah. Free maximum, uh... Free health thing, too, so... Trying to evolve. 
As an oh. Okay. That's interesting. So he's basically going to become a guardian big boy or whatever. It looks like he's suffering. Baul, come on. You can do it. Uh, I was about to say, that's a bad, bad idea. I want to heal your wounds, but there's nothing I can do. My power is poison to you, isn't it? Healing wounds isn't your power, Estelle. What do you mean? Don't you remember Bellius's words? Power corrupts. But you... You are different. Never what is it? That kindness. What is it, baby? The compassion you I'm about so to I'm about to unplane and then I'm gonna make some dinner, okay? You, you like... You like Italian sausage? Huh? My compassion for others. Your thoughts are reaching Baul. I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best. <laughs> well now. Amazing. What is he? A, what is he? A, is he like a like a dragon now? Like Your partner seems like he's going to be just fine. Yes. Thank you all for helping to protect him. What is it, girl? What is a baby? This is something I couldn't have done alone. You're one of us. Of course we'd help. That's right. Holy shit, he's huge. <laughs> he's like the size of a goddamn Didn't I fucking whale. You? You got through to That's him. nuts. <laughs> you make it through to Pharaoh as well. Will you be going to meet him? That's up to Estelle to decide. I'll go. It's been the purpose of my journey, after all. Yeah. You just need cuddles, don't you? Are you sure? What if you end up getting killed? Even still, I've got to stand firm on this. It won't be too long before the hunting blades send reinforcements. How about a change in scenery before they show up and spoil the party? There's only one path down from here, though. We're bound to run into them. The skies are wide open above us. Have you lost your mind? Get on. We'll fly as far as the Fiertia. We can finish talking once we arrive. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play with you, too. I haven't really done that today, have I? I suck, don't I, kitty? Yeah. Let's get your favorite toy out. Oh my god. So, I guess... So this is our airship then. Okay. I'm fine with that, I guess. That's still pretty fucking funny, though. <laughs> yeah, apparently she's tired as fuck. <laughs> Thank fuck we have an airship, though. It took 45 fucking hours to do it. She must be exhausted. Yeah. I mean, she just killed over. Wasn't expecting that. I bet she watched over Baul the entire time he was evolving. She probably didn't get much sleep. She probably had no idea when the hunting blades would attack either. She was putting up a brave front, but she must have been near the end of her rope. She's just dumb. She doesn't know how to express. Gee, just feeling. like you. And I'm really glad we're able to help Judy out. We can finish talking with her tomorrow. We should let her sleep now. In fact, I wouldn't mind a little shut eye myself. We still haven't heard Judy's uh. sound, so we can't say anything, but she sure caused the guild a major headache, breaking Blastia's all on her own. There's no getting around that fact, no matter what her reasons. We have to settle this. Man, I hate waiting. Oh, Yuri. Sorry to interrupt while you were thinking. Ever since I took Bellius's life without meaning to, I've wanted to know what it means to be the child of the full moon, so the same thing doesn't happen again. I've always thought that it was my duty to know, but after what happened to Bellius... That's how everyone is. They do something, they learn. They do something else, they learn more. You too, Yuri? Yeah. 
Maybe if I had known everything ahead of time, I wouldn't have made any mistakes. Hmm. There's only one thing I can say for sure. What's that? Maybe you wouldn't have made any mistakes, but it sure would have been boring. I really wonder. Yeah, we all wonder. So does an old man past his prime fit into the picture at all? What are you whining about, old man? Why are you past your prime? Hmm. What Judith was talking about before. Hermes Blastia, was it? Blastia created with techniques that should have been lost in the war are still active. Do you know what this means? I guess someone who survived the war brought either Blastia or those techniques back with them. If that person was still using the Blastia even though he knew it was harmful to the Earth, someone like that would have to be quite the villain indeed. Oh man, don't tell me you... Hey now, yours truly was nothing but an innocent youth on the straight yeah, arrow back Yeah, I doubt that. I still say he's a double agent. I wouldn't do something like that even on my worst day. <laughs> I was just trying to trick you into giving yourself away. You're a slippery one. Son of a... When are you going to learn some respect for your elders? Don't fall overboard. Oh, I'll be careful, Gary. The world sure is big. Yeah. Even though we're flying this high in the air, we still can't see everything. If the world's this big, I guess it makes sense that there'd be so many things we don't know. <laughs> it might not make that much of a difference whether I get my memories back or not. Are you saying you'd be okay with not getting them back? I'm saying that I'm not the only one who feels restless and anxious not knowing the truth. Everyone's worried about something, even you and Estelle. You think so? Isn't that why everyone's here? Isn't that why Judy came back? And is that why you're here too? I don't want to be alone. You know, you're being pretty honest today. I'm always honest. Really? Well, maybe you are. <laughs> Shiver me timbers, Baal. You never lay eyes on that out at sea? Brings back memories from the past. Okay, double agent. Let's see, we got, uh... I mean, I assume Judy's still asleep, so I guess talk to Carol. And then Rita, probably. Are you thinking about Judy? Yeah. I'm wondering what we should do about her. It's true that she broke the guild's laws and betrayed us. I always thought that a guild's strict adherence to its own laws was what kept it together. That there could be no exceptions, no lenience for those who would break the laws. But... She did what she did to save the world. Judy is destroying Blastia because she knows it's the right thing to do. Even if it makes people hate her. Yep. Judith didn't break our laws in order to do something bad. I know this now. I'm gonna talk with her about it and give it some more thought. I'll figure this out eventually. Oh yeah? Maybe if I become a little more decisive, Nan will listen to me too. Man, I don't know why Carol is so like. I don't know why Carol's so, so crushing like over Nan. She she ain't that good of a character. Like, just move on, dude. Was that the core from the Sarah's Blastia that Judy destroyed? Yes, it's definitely cut with a different formula than the usual core. It looks like what she said was true. She said she wasn't too good at lying after all. To discover that the new technique you created was bad for the world, after what must have been years of research, I can't imagine how the person who created the Hermes technique must have felt. Well, what if it had been you? If I found out that it hurt the Earth, I would have to do something about it. Huh. But I wouldn't destroy the Blastia like that. I think I might know who the uh, person is who's the mastermind behind all this uh, Hermes technique. Maybe it's that one guy that had like that badass sword with the white hair, you know? Maybe he did it. What the? Nothing. Uh, if only things weren't so complicated. I could have just blasted her into oblivion and been done with it. Hmm.
She's sound asleep. Let's let her sleep a bit longer. Okay. Fair enough. I'm still interested in her story, to be honest. Ugh. I'm getting tired of sitting in this fucking seat. Morning. It's a beautiful morning, but even as we stand here, the air is out of balance, and our world may already be dying. <laughs> That's right. Judy! Well, look who's feeling better. In the past, these slight fluctuations of the air have not negatively affected our world. There have always been beings who maintain the balance by sensing changes in the airflow. Things like Pharaoh and Ba'ul, the Entelechaea. So the Entelechaea were responsible for keeping the air balanced. <laughs> for ages, the Entelechaea have regulated the air, but the recent increase has been greater than they could control. Which is being caused by the Hermes blast here. And which is also why you were going around taking down as many of them as you could. Yes, that was my mission. The path I walk with Ba'ul. To whom I owe my life. The path you walk. Now some would even hunt the Intelikea for Apatheia. This has made the mission of the Intelikea even more difficult. Why is everybody so crazy about these Apatheia anyway? I'm afraid I don't have an answer. The air an Intelikea absorbs becomes condensed within its body over time. When its life is at an end, that condensed air forms a crystal, an Apatheia. Okay. That's all I know. I imagine Pharaoh could shed more light on the subject, though. So Epithea are crystals of concentrated air. If that's true and the energy could be extracted from the Epithea, it would be a source of overwhelming power, I'm sure. Yeah, so that... Like, I, I, I've already solved this, like, you know, a stream or two ago. Like, their basic ultimate power. Could we really do that? <laughs> I don't know. But if that's possible, there must be tons of guys who want those things. I bet somebody wants to use these things for the wrong reasons. Why didn't you just tell us all this from the beginning? Seriously, we could have avoided all this trouble if you just talked to us. Am I wrong? Even if you had known, there are things not even you could have prevented. What do you mean? I showed up at Heliord because Ba'ul had sensed a disturbance in the air. Where there was a disturbance, there was sure to be a Hermes Blastia. But what I found there was not a Blastia. It was a person. That in other words, a Stell. So it wasn't like you were looking for a Stell in particular back at Heliod. Yet for some reason, Ba'ul perceived a Stell as a disturbance in the air. I had to find out why. For the sake of the path I've chosen. It was at that time that Pharaoh first appeared. He seemed to have some idea who Estelle was. My mission was to destroy all the Hermes Blastia. However, Estelle was obviously not a Blastia. I needed to make absolutely certain I made a deal with Pharaoh. And he agreed to grant me some time. You mean... If it became apparent that her existence posed too great a threat, then I... I would kill her. Yeah, kill that bitch. What? Settle down. Obviously, Judith reached a different conclusion. All right, I get it. Bellius said you possess a heart of compassion. If you can communicate that to Pharaoh somehow, you may learn what you should do. H hey, there's no real reason for you to fight Pharaoh anymore, right? I mean, we know the Hermes Blastia are what's causing the problem and everything. If we just make sure the Apatheia don't fall into the wrong hands, I still want to meet Pharaoh. I want to hear what he has to tell me. But please try to understand. I have to know more about myself and take responsibility for who I am. All right. Sorry, Yuri. I don't think we can decide what to do about Judith right away. I promise not to leave again until things have been settled, as you said. I need to accept that responsibility myself. Let's go and find Pharaoh. We'll finally be getting around to one of the first things we set out to do. We can work out the rest once this is finished. There is a rocky crag in the center of the sands of Kogor. That is where Pharaoh lives. Ba'ul can take us there. Okay, let's go. 
This meeting's been a long time coming. So, oh, so we go back to the desert then, essentially. Can I not control the the ship? I can communicate with Baul, but there are still a few things you should know. Like what? Baul can only land on the ground in wide, open spaces, so you won't be able to dismount on steep mountain ranges or in narrow canyons. Can't he land on water? Water's no good either. Really? He looks like he'd be a good swimmer. <laughs> yeah, he'd sink like a rock. Huh, who knew? But that's why we have a ship, right? Right. If you'd like to get down... Okay, I was about to say, like, we can still land on the water. We are on a ship. Okay. Okay, but what should we do when we want to fly again? Use Baul's horn to call him to you. Baul's... That's all there is to it? Every Intellikea has a special region in its brain that can be used for communication with a special power Critium's possess. Huh. Huh. So we can get a hold of him by using that. Right. Well, that's pretty cool. So yeah, press L3 to call Baul on the map. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. So yeah, we finally got an airship. Thank fuck God. Thank God for that. Um, yeah, land only in where landing is permitted. Man, like, pretty much the whole world's open now. Because there's plenty of islands that I cannot get to unless I landed on them. Judith, you're familiar with Pharaoh, aren't you? Is he really as scary as he seems? Well, let's see. Sometimes he's logical, sometimes he's emotional. He can be really scary or really kind. All right. No, it didn't. didn't help very much. One thing's certain, his power is extraordinary, even among the Intellikea. Here's hoping we don't wind up looking like poor old Mount Temza the moment we meet him. If he can do that to a mountain, there wouldn't be anything left if he turned on us. I wish you wouldn't joke about scary things like that. What is a baby? Get scared before we what baby? There, especially if he's that what strong. baby? Wish I could take it as lightly as you and you're in such a good mood, aren't you? Yeah. I don't even think you can really see my cat anymore. My lighting's all shit. I, I should have put that ring light back on since it's basically dark now. I guess it don't really matter, though. Uh, yeah, I just... I'm kind of curious about the uh, world map thing. Like, I, I, uh... Man, we're really getting our asses kicked on this dog fucking competition. <laughs> really getting our asses kicked. I mean, now that I have an actual airship, maybe I can actually, I don't know, win, quote-unquote, now. But I'm not, you know, particularly, you know, concerned about that right now. But the great thing is, um, I can at least get the whole map explored. So let's go ahead, <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and do that real quick. I never imagined you'd be able to speak with the Intellikea. Well, I use a Critian technique to do it. Wait, do I detect a little jealousy? Mm, maybe. Right, Repeat? <clears throat> Yuri, you want to talk to Repeat? I think the two of you understand each other well enough already. I got him pretty well figured out, but I don't know if he understands me. <clears throat> I think he feels the same way. But yeah, I was fucking around with the world map uh, on my own. But I think it's time I actually, you know, fill in all the pieces. Hell, that's probably a trophy anyway. To fill in all the uh, space of the world map. I, I noticed there's this thing like to the northeast. It was like a... Uh, like a... You know, like a fucking North Pole, Antarctic kind of area. I don't know if that applies to anything ever, though. Because I'm not even sure if I can land on these little ice things. Um, no, I no, I I guess they're just I guess they're just there, pretty much, huh? Yeah, fuck. But yeah, let's uh, let's do a let's do a once over, get all this map filled out. Kind of wish I could go a little bit faster, but. 
I can't really complain. I have an airship now like I've always wanted, so... And more skits. Who doesn't like skits? He's a good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. Is there an island here? Like, what is... Oh, there is an island here. Uh... Is it? It looks like there's a thing here. Oh, it must be underwater. I was like, what? Yeah, we, we probably have to trigger something for that to come up from the ocean. I was just like, what the hell is this thing? Man, let's go ahead and get this uh, eastern side of the world map done. Start to get this uh, southeastern kind of archipelago. Yeah, there's no way I could uh, navigate through this shit with all the shallows, but it looks like there's. Oh, I got some something ore. I don't even know what this shit is. I'm kind of curious if these guys are too tough for us. Let's let's try to fight one, I guess. Might get my ass killed, but... So we got some kind of bee here, it looks like. Get ready. I'm taking you down. Killer bee, okay. Okay, level 42? That's not that's not that far off from what my level is, then. Fuck you, bitch! Decent amount of gold. Okay. Yeah, I feel good. A little learning stuff. Yay. And then I can, yeah, just hit L2 to get to get on my ship and carry me off. Okay. Huh. It's neat. So I need to look for that goddamn place where I can gamble. Like, I know I'm supposed to go to the uh, Sands of Kogor, but... Like, why would I not want to check out a couple of places? There we go. I got that corner completed. Now let's get the very, very bottom of this world map here. And let's get this, uh, I don't know, other continent. There's got to be like a city or two here at least. Oh, I think I see the city right now. Or er, actually, that might not be a city. That uh, I don't know what those are. I don't know. There's something there. I think I missed a spot. <laughs> like a little bit uh, towards the middle. I'll have to go back and get that. Let me 
need that smudge that's just a little over here. There we go. Actually, there might be a couple of smudges on, um... No, I think those are just shallows. I, I, I can't really tell. Sure, I would have had this uh, airship earlier in the game, but you know. I almost got it, people. Yeah, I could have sworn there was a there was a trophy on the on the thing that said explore the entire world map. So we'll see if it's fucking true. Is there a Is that not all of it? Let me check my actual... If I zoom in... Okay, maybe I missed a couple of things here and there. Like a couple little itty bitty spots. Yep, that's a little fuzzy too. I'm gonna have to give it a once over at some point, yeah. It's kind of hard to tell when it's, like, transparent on here, but... The shallows kind of interfere with shit, too. Okay. Um... Well, shit, people. I might as well just, uh... Show somewhere and then call it for a stream. Um... Yeah, I think I'm going to explore next stream. I don't really feel like... I don't think I'm going to be doing any grind or anything. Let me just plop down here. Well, let me cure that, uh... Let me cure that on Yuri. Uh, haven't I killed these guys before? I think I've killed these guys before. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I never identified these dudes, did I? A little 48, apparently, huh? Maybe a little bit too tough for us, but... Sucks my, uh... Dude was paralyzed, but... It is what it is. Yeah, we'll, we'll explore the, uh, world map. I, I ain't going to the desert yet. I'm gonna do other shit. I don't give a fuck. 
But yeah, that's gonna be it for this game tonight, guys. Uh... Unless I feel like doing something different, I'll, uh... I'll be playing some of this Friday, then. Unless I think, think of something more fun. I don't know, Friday night? Maybe I will do the Super Mario Bros. 2 thing. Who, who knows, people? Who knows? But... Yeah, I gotta make me some dinner, so... Let's, uh, see anybody to raid. Because, uh. damn, it's fucking 8.30 about. Uh. Oh, uh, K-Bill's actually playing, uh... Sly 2, Band of Thieves? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stream him. Stream him. Or raid him, I mean. Why not? And he hasn't been streaming in a while, I I think. Or I just haven't been catching him. But yeah. I still need to play the Sly series. Uh, it's, it's definitely something to... Something, something to get in on. But yeah, I'll see you guys later.